than you did the other direction. <laughs> God, Hello to me. everybody who can't dance. Uh, it's, me. <laughs> it's you. I was flossing. Well, no, me. no, that's not. That might have been what you thought you were doing. That's not what you're doing. Hello, happy Friday, everybody, and welcome to Getting Baked with Crystal. I'm tired. Dan, my doctor, I went to my doctor and I said, I'm tired. Is that just what being an adult is? What's wrong with me? And he said, let's test your blood. And I said, perfect. And he said, your body does not store iron correctly. Here, take these pills and come back and we'll see how that worked. Today, I got my blood test results back. All those levels we were checking, lower than they were before. How is that possible? They needed to be higher. Because the doctor told me that you just need to eat more cabbage patch. Once again, hello to everybody who can't dance. Just so tired. Every day. Why? Is that... Uh, people in your 40s, are you just tired all the time? Except at bedtime? Is it just me? Do I have something wrong with me? You need a better doctor. I'm your guy. Yeah, I don't know if I'd trust you, but thanks. Thanks for the offer, Chris. <laughs> to be fair, my doctor's not a doctor, and I call him by his first name. I like how Chris just... always just steps up to that. <laughs> always. It's always. He's right there for it. Um, I, I like to see the nurse practitioner, because you can always get an appointment right away. You don't have to wait five months. Um, and he's a cool guy. Kind of reminds me of Dr. Cox from uh, Scrubs, if you ever watched that. But it's really weird to go see a medical professional and just call him by his first name. Like, is there another title? Maybe you should go see, I have a chick practitioner and- She's uh, just the female version of the male. You call her Julie, I call him Brian. There's no difference. You just call them by their first name. It's weird. It's really weird. They, they need another title. I don't know. Doc title. <laughs> I, I don't know. I had to pull down my pants in front of her. She didn't flinch. Brian has never made me pull down my pants. One time I had to take off my shoe and my sock and he touched my foot because I had a weird thing going on. My good on. foot. My good foot. Uh, Actually, uh, it was my bad foot. My forklift foot. <laughs> it's not a forklift yeah, foot. Yeah, a forklift I foot. had like a ball on you, the bottom of my foot yep, and he didn't x-ray it. Well, he Is sent me flies? to have somebody else do an x-ray. All right, Mama June. It, there's nothing wrong with my foot. It today. fixed itself. Uh, we're making strawberry crunch cookies. I'm excited. Do you guys remember? So I tried to look into it and see like who makes these. Everybody makes them. Okay, but who made them first? I don't know. It's those ice cream bars that have like the crumbly stuff on the outside and it's like strawberry shortcake stuff. I don't, I don't know. I, you, you want to know the truth? Yeah. Never had one. Never in my life. My mom told me today she never had one because she thought it was coconut flavored. What's, let's look at the Even pic though it's called strawberry crunch. Let's look at the picture. She thought it was coconut. Th this is right up my alley right here. Like it's pink, which means it's going to be strawberry or cherry. Uh, we I'm have happy. we have strawberry extract right. to make it extra uh, strawberry. And what's that crumble on top that's brown? It's uh, golden Oreos mixed with some Jello pudding powder. No, okay. Jello powder. Jello. Oh, did we get the right stuff? Oh, like the good Huber bars, <laughs> maybe so. Uh oh. Right uh oh, am I running to the store? Yeah, strawberry Jello powder. We're good. Oh, We're you're good. lucky. We were going to run to the store real quick. All right. I need, what's with I the moon this. on the picture? Uh, it's an eclipse. <laughs> it's on its way. When I'd made it first, I had it fully eclipsed in there, and then you couldn't see anything but the round pink, well, yeah, and it wasn't like, sense, it didn't make any sense, so. All right, all right. Joanna wants to know if I've had my thyroid checked. No, we're, like, this was step one. Uh, Amanda saying, uh, maybe I need a powder form of iron since my body is struggling to absorb the pill. So it wasn't an iron, like, it wasn't called, like, here, take some iron. It was something else, because it's not, it's not the iron, it's, it's my body storing the iron. It's not okay. happening. Um, I did make sure to tell him, like, I've been a vegetarian for 30 years, and he was like, 30 whole years? Like, no meat at all? Sorry, I, not, not really my thing. Um, so I'm sure that has something to do with the iron, but I'm not gonna just start eating meat to get iron. So we need to figure this out another way. Although, um, I when I go, I have an appointment in like a week and a half. I'm gonna ask him for a sleep test because uh, Dan's been waking me up lately yelling at me to breathe because apparently that's not a thing I do while I'm sleeping. So that may have something to do with it, so. Yeah. I need to see the moon eclipse crystals bright disposition. Oh, I love that you think I have a bright disposition. We got to see Damn, the what did I look like before the camera came on? Oh, bother. <laughs> and then I was over there dancing and I made you, you, you laugh. Made and then that's, you made me laugh. That's good. Let's go up here and, and talk to Nikki. Hi, Nikki. Happy birthday. You're yelling in my ear. I'm sensitive to loud noises. 
Uh, Nikki with her member super chat. Thank you, Nikki, for being a member and supporting us for 12 whole months and for being here tonight. Happy to see you. Uh, she says, it's my birthday on Monday. I'm thir I'll be 31 years old. Well, happy early birthday. I will not see you on Monday. So hold on to this. Happy birthday until then. Or tomorrow we'll play Hot Wheels. Yes. Yes. Uh, Wolfie says, the cookies look delish. Love those bars. Yeah, you know, I worked at a convenience store that sold them and never even tried them. And I'm kind of an ice cream connoisseur, but never once tried it. And I'm ready. Good. I'm ready for it. Uh, sleep apnea or cold? My dad does that, and he has COPD. Probably sleep apnea. My dad had it. He ended up having to have like some sort of septum surgery. Um, my dad snoring Ouch. legit sounded like an airplane landing. Like it was the loudest thing ever. Did you usually um, ask him to add a stitch? Get get out of here. Damn everybody. Get out of here. That no. I have no proper response for that, but we'll fight later. Don't you worry. Um, yeah, so I'll probably have to get one of those machines, and then uh, Dan will have to deal with that instead of me snoring, so have fun with that. I did see something, Dan, where you could just put tape over your mouth. It's like this little black thing you just put over your mouth while you're sleeping, Aww. and it's supposed to help you not snore, but <laughs> that sounds terrible. Wait, what if I just get one, too? Like, can you... you oh, what so if, what you if we used just to just... Do it. You used to just, like loudly breathe you full on snore now and you do this thing where you like to come snuggle up to me and then you're like here and you're like so it's right in my ear with you. I oh heard, yeah you break the sound barrier oh i i don't so, doubt that i, I heard my dad snore i'm sure it's not pretty there's definitely like some some sinusy issues oh, I'm in and trouble. stuff Daniel yeah Mosley. get out of here you already got kicked out are you making just the cookies or the whole ice cream sandwich no no just the cookies A it's pizza it's, in a minute i'm hungry get out of here okay, bye everybody get out see you next get bit out. Uh, CPAP and BiPAP machines aren't too loud. Okay, yeah, I've heard that like uh, some some good like progress has been made with them that they're not too bad. However, I also read an article where um, like half a dozen people died because their CPAP machines were defective, which sounds horrible. Like I put this Just thing on so I can breathe and not die while I'm sleeping from not breathing, but then it's gonna kill me. Hold on, so it's terrifying. Your CPAP machine needs a machine to keep the. CPAP machine going. I guess so. That's, you'd like that DPAP out and it's just hooked in there. I don't know. You gotta do something. You can't just have, you gotta have a backup machine. Uh, Jennifer says, what about Breathe Right strips? Never tried them. Um, I, I mean, her hole's big enough. You Don't come back. Don't come back. Um, here's the problem. My tongue is too big for my mouth. Like, legit, like, too big, it's it's too wide, and I always have teeth marks on the side of my tongue, and I used to have a lisp and have to, like, force my tongue back into my mouth, and as soon as I relax, like, when I'm laying down trying to go to sleep and I relax, like, my tongue, like, closes up my airways, so, yeah, I, I, I need to figure this out. I'm too tired. I'm way too tired right now. Tired. Are you done hearing about how tired I am? So tired. Uh, Afriel's suggesting a fly swatter. Oh, I've got two knuckle sandwiches he can have right here. Are you hungry, Dan? Come back. I dare you. A warrior cat says, guess what I did? I don't know. There's so many things. Um, when we play along with Wheel of Fortune and the, the category is, what are you doing? It's not as hard as, as thing, because a thing could literally be anything, but it's a pretty hard category. There's a lot of things you could be doing. I don't know. Tell me what you did. Oh yeah, I probably need a mouth guard too, because I grab my teeth. My dentist don't really like me about that, so... I don't know. Oh, I get to go to my first concert. Awesome. What did you see? I hope it was something good. I love it. Live music is the best. I'm working with my brother right now to try to figure out if there's a concert we can go to. I always go visit him in the summertime and we pick a concert and we go to a show because he's my favorite concert buddy. No offense, Dan, but you're kind of a sissy and you're afraid I'm going to get hurt. I'm not going to get hurt. I've been in so many pits. I'm not going to get hurt. I assure you. Um, but we can't find a concert we want to go to that works with our... Uh, schedule, so I'm not sure what's going to happen. Dean Lewis, who is an Australian singer and AJR. Never heard of him, but I'm happy you got to go to a concert. I hope you got the concert bug and go to a million more. Live music is the best. Are you sure you want to make a pizza now? I'm making cookies! Get out of the kitchen! Out! You're not allowed on the gray floor. I'm on the other side of the line. That's fine. You stay over there. And when you want to go back over there, you've got to go around that way, because you're not allowed oh, on the I can lean in. Look, I'm still a part of the stream. I'm going to fight you. We're going to fight tonight, you guys. All right, so here we go. We are going to make the topping first, which is just going to be some crunched up golden Oreos, not regular Oreos. Um, we're going to mix that with some... Oh, can we talk about Jello? Hold on. 
Did you, are you on the gray floor? I was looking to see if the taco truck was there. Ow. Okay, so I am not crazy. This is pudding, but what? Do we have do we have regular boxes of Jello too? Um, I think we had a couple in there because giant boxes. You said we had boxes. We have we bought some. So. so many. Maybe it's just the Jello, but it's. See, it says 3.4. So I've been, I use the pistachio jello pudding mix when I make pistachio muffs. It has always been 3.4 ounces. So I told Anne, go get me a box of jello, strawberry jello. He comes back with family size because he's Dan. And if he can screw it up, he will. That's not what I needed. I was so excited I saw the box. Yeah, I think you did it on purpose so you could have some strawberry jello. Exactly. So what I needed was the regular size, not the family size, which is a 3.4 ounce box. Uh, it's not 3.4 ounces, it's only 3 ounces. Maybe on, yeah. But the recipe specifies one 3.4 ounce box of strawberry jello powder. Okay, so 96 grams we need to get to. Yes, but that and we're only at 85. So I'll just add like a scoop or something. We're going to add a little, just because I don't want to screw it up. So we're going to take the 20 of the golden Oreos, we're going to roughly crumble them up in here. Uh, Heather B loves both of our shirts. What oh, are you thanks. wearing? Um, are you on the gray again? I kicked you I'm off. wearing my new F1 shirt where the, um, uh, where the guy is for sure half fishing. <laughs> He's definitely bald under that. And you added a blank shirt from the 90s. It's not really from the 90s. And you know, it really bothers me because it says LA, California, but they're not from LA. Why would it, why would it say LA? They didn't make this shirt. This is like a knockoff one because I don't like any of the designs they had. They're from San Diego, right? Yeah. Okay. Or like roughly that area. All right. So yeah, somebody made this knockoff shirt and made it say LA. Although I felt validated when I saw someone in a punk band. There was some video I scrolled across and he was on stage playing in his band, playing his guitar, and he had the same shirt on. So I was like, okay, well, he got the knockoff shirt too. But yeah, all their designs were awful. Like I wanted to get their actual merch, but it was ugly, so... No, no, I just went and got the knockoff. I remember when they played at Del Sur. What? Did they really? I had no idea. I saw them 20 plus years ago. Uh, they played with Green Day and Jimmy Eat World. And it was an awesome show. Absolutely loved it. Um, Travis Barker is an amazing drummer. Like, absolutely amazing. Uh, if you don't know, Travis Barker, the drummer from Blink, he was in, like, the drum line in high school and can do the, like, like, the thing that the drum line people do, not just, like, on the drums. That like, sounded like the end of the world as you know it. Did it? Yeah. <laughs> but your, your mouth drumming was really good. That was good. Thanks. I do what I can. Um, I once went to a drum competition at the House of Blues hosted by Travis Barker, and he had a bunch of uh, kids like mostly teenagers out there. And it was like a full on drum competition where everybody went and did the like, this kind of stuff. Where like, it's like actual skill of like drumming really fast. And it was really amazing to see like really good drummers play. But yeah, he's amazing. And when I saw him live, the, the stage he was on lifted up. Like he was on his own stage behind everybody and it lifted up and it That's spun around fun. and it went upside down and he kept playing and did not miss a beat. That's fun. Um, I would love to see them again, but it's like $200 a ticket and nobody I know wants to go with me. And the opening band is awful. Dan said he'd go, but then I have I'll to pay, go. like, then it all comes out of our budget. Right. So then we have to pay $400 to go see Blink with some a, opening band I don't care about. Who knows who Pierce the Veil is? It's terrible. I would it's wait not in the parking lot to. for you. Aww, and I would eat the, the hot dogs. Hold on, this is a good one. Uh, is Jess going to be here? I don't know, because it was crappy weather and they lost power. That's unfortunate. Um, so I think she might just be sitting in the living room with with uh, with, with no power. Uh, so. F-Man suggesting maybe it's a tour short, Louisiana to California. I assure you it's not a tour short, uh, and that's not Louisiana. <laughs> no. Uh, yes, somebody said... Maybe it says Laka. Uh, Hilo so. Husky, they're from Poway. That's it. Poway? 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 I don't know how you say it. Uh, but yeah, yeah, San Diego area. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's a knockoff. I did, it's not actual merch at all. All right, so yeah, I know he's married to a Kardashian. That's that's the most disappointing thing he's ever done. I'm, I'm sad to hear it. All right, Dan, we're we're here doing stuff, and you're looking out the window at other people's snacks. The snacks are always greener, huh? Get out of here. All right, so it has us make the topping first, and we're gonna put it on a plate and just like. Let it be, I guess. Uh, are y'all ready for the rain this weekend? As ready as I'm going to be. I think we're only going to get like a couple hours of rain. I hope so, because my lawn's got okay. some stuff going Three, on top of it, and I need that six, rain to like... nine. Whoa, hold on. These 12, are like dinky now. They feel lighter, and like, it 15, doesn't even start at the edge anymore. 15, I don't even like old Oreos. Oh, but Oreos look at... It's like not even close to the edge. Oh, 
Shannon says, Tommy from Motley Crue did the flying drums thing as well. I don't doubt that at all. Can you get your damn cookie out of the way? This is my show. You can, you can be obnoxious, Dan, on your show. It's Obnoxious Crystal Night. Mm-hmm. You heard me. I don't know how I'm really supposed to, like, crumble these by hand. Ah, Nicholas Tafori is here Yay. with the super, super, super chat. Thank you so much, Nick. Appreciate you. Just stop by to say hello. Hope all is well. We're good. We're doing We're doing as well as we Whoa, can be here. You I are. I've been kicked well. off this show, like, no less than 10 Yet times. here you are. Here well, he Nick got me an invite back. Thanks, Nick. Hi. <laughs> Thanks, like, Nick. You like my gleaming the cube hair? Whoa. Oh, I see my time has come. Dan, everybody. Thank you, Nick. Your time has come to It's nice to see you. It said just to uh, roughly chop them, but I think they need to be a little more rough than this. The hard part is that uh, they have the, the cream filling, so then it gets all mushy. Oh, Mooch, do you smell the Oreos? <laughs> Mooch smells the cream filling. I was going to put them in the food processor, but I didn't want to make dust out of it, but that might have been a better idea than this. <laughs> now it's just sticky. Yeah, the edge says we should throw them in a bag and smash them with a rolling pin. Well, it's a little late for that now. Whoa, bro. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Morgan is here. Hello, Hi, Morgan. Morgan. One of our longest supporting members of our channel. Thank you so much, Morgan, with your member super chat. Hola, fam. Hola. Hope you are doing well. Yeah, this is definitely not the business. I, I probably should have just... Let's just get the freaking food processor out. It's just messy. No bad idea. We tried your cake Oreos. They weren't bad. Uh, Jess sent me a picture earlier today at the Meyer of, like, it was like churro Oreos. Yes, that's the new one that came out. Uh, Aphrael suggesting a potato masher. I don't actually own one. We're going to say struggling, but well, oh. Same. Are the kids kicking your butt? Same. Welcome to your 30s. <laughs> Cheerios. Oh my god, Sam's late. What were you doing that was so much more important than being here listening to me yell at Dan? You love it when I yell at Dan. He's gotten in trouble like five times already, Sam, and you missed it. I know. I'm, I'm where I'm not even supposed to be right you now. You are. You've been kicked out of here so many times, but here you are. I got cool new Hot Wheels. Oh my god. And then, if, yeah. And then you guys will be able to see it tomorrow. So, tomorrow we're going to do more Hot Wheels. I think we're going to do another Rainbow Road thing since there's so many cars. I think it'll be fine. Dan's been a naughty boy. Yeah, baby girl. Uh, sorry, I don't think you uh, typed it all that, but you know, I figured. Oh, Daisy's Gaming with a super, super chat. Thank you so much for Hi, the Daisy support, Gaming. Friend. Good evening, all. I'm at work, but going to be listening to help. Me keep focus. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> we can't even keep focus. The churro Oreos are good. Have them at Walmart. At the Walmart I work at. Um, it's is it a chocolate Oreo though? I don't like chocolate Oreos. Daisy Gaming, uh, thank you so much for the super chat. At your Walmart, did they stop the automatic? No, self checkout. Cause ours doesn't have self checkout no more. They went back to like human scanning, um, which is whatever. Uh, and I do want to try those churro Oreos. Uh, Hannah says rules are made for breaking. Oh, are you about to turn that on? Yeah. Daisy Gaming, thank you so much. Thank you. I'm about to go to the taco truck. Oh, she says it is a golden Oreo. Interesting. I'm not the biggest fan of churros, and I feel like I should be. And it's not the flavor that bothers me. It's the texture of a churro. Maybe I'd like the Oreos. I don't, can they just... Look, every time a company comes out with new flavors of anything, they should sell sample sizes. Can I get a little four-pack? I will buy the heck out of a four-pack. You could sell so many more four-packs for a dollar than you can a full pack of cookies those look good. I just, I don't know if I don't want to eat them. See, I don't want a whole pack because I'm not going to eat the whole thing and then they're just going to go bad. But I would buy so many oh. more, like, bootleg flavors of snacks if they just sell Aww, sample kitty. size things. I miss you, kitty. They finally pop up on the screen. <sighs> okay, now move, kitty, so I can get to the Oreo picture. Oh, my gosh. Take your time. <sighs> it's not like I'm trying to do a show here, Dan. You can talk still. They can still hear you. But it looks like that on the outside. Uh, Daisy Gaming says we still have self-checkout here. Michelle says our Walmart still has self-checkout, but Dollar General doesn't. Shannon says we still have self-checkout, but they're trying to make it for Walmart Plus members only. We don't even have that yet. Like, that got shut down, too. It's Michelle's suggesting I take the leftover snacks to work, but I work with a bunch of unappreciative people. <laughs> 
Let's just leave it at that. I need you to go turn the speaker down because this is going to be really loud and high pitched. Okay, hold on. No, now. Like, I'm ready. I'm still, I'm just re I had to read. Okay, so what's happening now? The volume's going to go down? Yes, yeah, so Wilton says the, the Petoskey Walmart just got a bunch of new self checkouts, and now it's 100% self, self check. That's what ours was, where they just kept the normal registers closed and then they just decided they're done with it. All right, turn it down. We'll be back. Uh, John says the customers wanted them gone, not this customer. If I can not talk to a Walmart employee, that's a good day. No offense, Daisy Games. Uh, the Walmart employees out here are awful. They're all just miserable. They, mm, I'm just gonna let, let it go with that. Okay, hold on a minute. I need to go back up. Morgan said the fetus inside combined with my spawns. I'm sorry, Morgan, what? Did, did I miss a memo? Are you reproducing again? Is it Audrey 3? <laughs> is, is it? I, I was reading it over and over trying to figure out what you were saying, but the words weren't making sense. And then it like clicked and I was like, wait, what? Oh my gosh, Morgan, Morgan. Uh, congratulations. I think that's the thing you're supposed to say when we're adults and people get pregnant. Um, congratulations. You're crazy. <laughs> you're Three? Cr you're crazy. <laughs> she said, oops. You're crazy. You're crazy. You I feel like three. everybody with three kids, I, either your first one or your last one was an oops. <laughs> I told you. I told you. There's going to be one more and you're like, no, there's not. And you then, actually there told me. There's three. There's three. Think, when did cars. you see Morgan last? Hmm, within like a year or so. Or over the last couple At years. At some point recently, you said something about, like, she I think Morgan might be pregnant again. Did she say something, or you saw her? No, because she might only be, like, like a week pregnant, so watch out. <laughs> um, no, but she let something slip, like, a, like within the last couple of years of, like, well, maybe a third. Or just, like, it, like, and I was just like, uh-oh, that was too much truth that came out. And then, like, now it happened. So, yeah, there was a third. Oh, she says it was planned, but not until August to get pregnant. But oops, eh, what difference does it make, really? Yeah. They're all going to take care of each other anyway, like Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Oh, but no, she, but she's congratulations. a good mom. She doesn't make her kids take care of each other. No, but, like, you know what I mean? There's just, you know, a, there's just a pile of kids. You know? It's just a pile of kids. Yeah. She says Halloween baby, or that maybe a good. Dan's birthday baby. Yeah. Are you hoping for another boy or do you want a girl? You seem like 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 a boy mom. I hate that phrase, boy mom. But like you're not the girliest girl, so I don't know. Like you're hoping for a girl. If you have two boys. Oh, uh, she said another boy. So what a waste. <laughs> she said what a waste. Morgan, I love you. <laughs> what a waste. <laughs> Why even bother? Just more boys. <laughs> Which is really weird because most of the family is girls. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, congratulations. I hope everything uh, is not too miserable for you through the pregnancy <laughs> and, and the raising of a third child. <laughs> Sounds miserable. Mm. Uh, Dan. Keep trying it till you win a girl. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> adopt. Yeah, adopt don't shop, Morgan. <laughs> Do you remember our friend Nanda's uh, friends that would sometimes be at parties when we would go there, like, for the kids and stuff? And they had five boys because they kept trying for a girl, and every single one of the boys looked exactly like the dad, like, carbon copy of the dad. And she's like, I'm pregnant again! I hope it's a girl! And it was another boy that looked just like the dad. All the kids looked identical. I think they stopped after five, but... You know, Vance says, and lost waste. <laughs> oh, maybe she wanted a girl. She's already got two boys. Wait, Dan, Dan has left, so I can't chop my Oreos. And they're all tag teaming me too from quick. within and beyond. You yeah. can do it real quick. I have to change Blake's film. Okay, more chopping? Yes.
Oh, um, I didn't want to turn it into dust. So some of the chunks are still big, but I'll break them up by hand. That's what I was doing here in this bowl. Uh, Morgan says, I refuse to be my mom. This is it. Roboto Rose getting the Dan treatment after this one. After this one is near the finish line. Perfect. Perfect. Three is a lot, though. You're going to be outnumbered. That's the scary part. The idea of having, like, more children than parents just scares me. But I hope it goes well for you. Your kids are adorable, and they're very well behaved. Well, at least from what I've seen. I get the girl dog. <laughs> yeah, what can you do? Uh, Wilton says, my cousin John had sons who were carbon copies of himself. It was weird. Yeah, my brother's son looks exactly like he did as a kid, and his daughter looks exactly like his wife. Genetics are such a weird thing. And my friend Nanda, uh, her son Gregory looks just like his dad. Her daughter Natalie looks just like her. Really weird. Hey, did I invite you over here? Mooch, get back. A uh, kid in my class growing up was one of six boys because mom kept trying for a girl. Oh, I can't. I can't imagine. I, I'm not the type of person that wants to, like, birth things or have children. Um, Blake was just a, a happy accident I fell into. Thank God I didn't have to birth him because that child's head is huge. Um, I can't imagine just having a bunch of babies just hoping for a different gender. I don't know. Let's make more life because I don't like the gender of these ones. It's weird. All right. I think most of these are going to be small enough. Some of them are big and chunky, but I think that'll be good. Yeah, Dan has left the room. He's uh, he's on the clock with Blake. No, Morgan says, it's not a secret, but no announcement yet. Fair enough. Maybe Dan was just uh, intuiting that you were going to have a third. Or like you said, maybe you said something. I don't know. But it's been in the back of my head, like, is she pregnant again? Watching when you, like, are on things. Like, is she talking about having a baby? But I thought you said you only wanted one, and then you had a second, and I thought you said no more, but here we are three? Dang. Now Alex says, Chris and I don't look like either of our parents. We just look like each other. I don't think... I don't think my brother and I really look like our parents. My mama dyes her hair a similar color to mine, so, like, the similarity can be noticed when we're together. But yeah, I don't think we really look like our parents. Uh, Shannon says, when I asked my dad's mom why she had nine, oh, nine kids, she said because they couldn't afford birth control. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Morgan says, watching me balloon. I'm already a baby beluga. <laughs> Aww. That, that idea terrifies me. What am I doing? Get in the scale. Let's get out another bowl. Hey, Foxy Koala, how you doing, friend? I hope you are well. All right, so we need to have 3.4 ounces. This is three. Uh, where do we go to ounces? Not fluid ounces. Grams, we could do grams. Yeah, because this is 85 and this is 96. Okay, we can do that. Let's see if this is accurately 85. Seventy-six. Now it's eighty-six. <laughs> I hate you. Oh, this thing. Yeah, I was trying to measure out as something the other day, and it just wasn't like. No, this is like it. not even close to accurate. Every time I push on it and let go, it's a different number. I even got new batteries for it, and I just need to get a new scale. Oh, now it's down to sixty. 55! Oh, it's getting lighter every time I pick it up and put it oh down. Oh my gosh. Let me know when it's no calories. We'll eat it all. <laughs> what is happening? Excuse me. I'm just, I can't do this. Uh, I saw Cyber Husky is here. Let's go up a little bit. We are still flying high after Drizzle's win on Sunday. Yes, if you guys missed it, uh, we did post on the RFS Fam Facebook group. 
Sorry, there's a lot of Facebook groups and I drew a blank. You know what? I'm just going to go with the three. I, I'm going to open this up and mess it up. Um, Drizzle and Gilly Doo were in a photo contest and Drizzle won. And then there was round two, which was international. And he won again. You guys did it. Thank you guys so much to everybody who voted. Um, you, you got her there. She, she won. Thanks for all the support. We see the photographer tomorrow to pick up prizes and see the photos from the shoot in February. Yeah, that is awesome. Cool. Yeah. I'm so happy for you. That'll be awesome. Uh, is the counter flat and there's nothing stuck to the scale feet? Yes and yes? It's been like this. I was trying to measure um, it's, Hot Wheels, it's, it's, and it was like, every time I put it on there, it was like not the same. Okay, I need to get some butter and melt some butter. Uh, imagine having a baby and six months later you become a grandma. No, thank you. No, no, thank you. <laughs> it's so weird to me when people have kids and grandkids that are around the same age. I, I don't even want grandkids. I hope Blake never breeds. He might, and then you'll be he can do whatever grandma makes Crystal, him grandma happy Crystal. in life. Yeah, I would definitely be Grandma Crystal. I don't want to be like Mima or like Mammy or whatever. Like people get called. I don't know if Blake wants kids, but maybe. As of right now, no. But, you know, as they always told me when I was a kid, you might change your mind one day. I didn't. I was just like, oops. <laughs> yeah, well, oops. I was very adamant and was not like, oops. I was just minding my own business. What would Brian Boitano do? And then I slipped <laughs> and fell. And the next thing you know, there was Blake. <laughs> and Blake is a wonderful child. He's an amazing human. Um, so we all go to the same dentist. Every time I go to the dentist, the hygienist tells me how amazing Blake is and how much she loves him, and he's so polite, and it's great. That's a good thing to hear. If you guys have kids, you know, like, for somebody yeah. unsolicited to tell you your kid's amazing is a really good feeling. Blake is awesome. He's a lot funnier than uh, you see on camera. Yeah, he's very shy on camera still. It's so weird. Can you put that in the trash, please, since you're not allowed in the kitchen? All right, I guess we're just gonna mix this up. Oh yes, Auntie Anne reminding everybody, I just approved the post today that Wilton is also in a photo contest. If you guys wanna go check out the RFS Fam Facebook group, uh, the, I believe she posted the link. I, I approved it and then something happened and what there you, was something shiny. Uh, what do you photo it? Me? No, Wilton. Oh, I don't know. I approved it, but then my my boss was calling me for something, and I hit approve. Well, well, we need. I need to know. I need to know. Go oh, check Facebook, bro. I need to know what we're doing. The cyber husky said, "I spent all day Sunday emailing and texting people to vote. It was exhausting." I reminded people. Uh, he was doing really well. He was in first place for most of the day, as far as I could tell, and then. Uh, he dropped into second, and I saw you post about that, so then I went and posted again, like, hurry up and go vote. And it was great because people that, there's a lot of people in the Facebook group. I want to say we're close to, like, a thousand, and I don't know most of those names. Like, they're not all active. I'm sure they, they watch to some degree, whether they just pay attention on the, the Facebook feed, or they're watching and just lurking. I don't know. But there's a bunch of names I didn't recognize who mentioned that they went and voted, so people came out and supported you, friend. Alec told me to get out of the fridge. How'd you know I was in the fridge? <laughs> um, my life's so adventure says, Dan, did you see the pic of the sword pan? Yeah, I thought that was cool. I like the sword pan. Crystal said, I could, him. Crystal said I couldn't have it though. Amanda says, I made the dough for big chewy cookies today. AJ has loved the cookies, so about every two weeks I'm making oh, a new good. batch. That's awesome. They're fun. I love that recipe because you can make it with anything. Like, it's a perfect, if you guys don't know what we're talking about, it's the big chewy chocolate chip cookies that I made on the show forever ago. That was the first recipe card we did for a card exchange. By the way, if you're still waiting for a card, you're still waiting for a card. Um, <laughs> we'll get there. Um, but it's a really good base that you can just add any mix into. So it's a fun cookie recipe. You don't want chocolate chip? Add some peanut butter chip, some butterscotch chip, some white chocolate chip, literally anything you want. Pretzels. You can put pretzels in it. This is interesting. It's it's gonna make kind of like a streusel topping. It and looks I think like the picture so far. I think the recipe said once we make the the ball of cookie dough, we roll it in this, and then we sprinkle some on top too. Oh, Alex says that he heard me open the fridge door. So, all right. <laughs> 
Uh, Mel Shane wanted to know if we were able to see any of the solar eclipse on Monday. Yeah, well, we have glass. Well, we have those glasses. Yes. Uh, uh, Dan Dan asked me if I had any glasses at work, and I did not. So he drove all the way over to my work, all seven whole minutes over to my work, and brought me the glasses, and we were able to see it. It was only partial here, um, not a full eclipse, but it was neat to see it. It was a little cloudy, but we could see it well enough. It worked. The glasses worked well. Me and Blake stared at it for a little while, too, out the window and stuff like that. It was fun. So we got enough of it. We didn't get full eclipse. We got enough, though, right? Yes. Cyberhouse, he says, I'm glad Drizzle is so loved. He's 14, so it's awesome the old timer yeah, took the win. Yeah, somebody <coughs> asked if you had a preference. So if you guys followed along, it was a bracket of 16 dogs, and Drizzle and Gilly Doo, Cyber Husky's two dogs, were on opposite sides of the bracket, and we did it. We brought it down to the final two where Drizzle and Gilly Doo. Cyber Husky knew she was going to win one way or the other, um, and somebody asked, like, does she have a preference on which dog we vote for? <laughs> like, oh, I think she's just happy to win. But yeah, that's awesome that... Uh, it was like a movement for you guys. Yeah, it was great. Afriel, I don't understand the order of the words. Dan said your car is a lot cat hey. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, when he pulled up and, and the cat came out from under my car, the black and white cat always runs over to me. Oh, yeah, when I pulled up at your work the other day? Yes. Yeah, yeah I asked my mom, when you go out there, like, does she run over to you? And she's like, no. I'm like, oh, as soon as she sees me at the door, yeah, she comes they running. Were, they were stretching and stuff. She loves yeah. me. Dan, smell this. Oh my gosh! It smells like fruity strawberry jello or like fruity pebbleish. Um, yeah, okay. it's fruity pebble like um like strength or by the makers of fruity pebble. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Mm, that's really um. good. Uh, Amanda says about the cookies. I do half and half white white and milk chocolate chips. AJ likes to take them to school, so no peanuts or peanut butter allowed. Fair enough. I forget that's a thing in most schools now. Okay, this is going to be amazing. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm in already. We don't even have to make cookies. We can just pour... If you guys just want a snack, crunch up some Oreos and, and put some Jello powder it's, on it because it's, it's amazing. It's part Fruity Pebbles, part... Um, what's uh, what, what's the cap and crunch that you have? Oops, all berries? Yes. Uh, Afriel, brilliant. New pancake waffle topping? Oh, yes. Oh, that would be awesome. Absolutely. That is brilliant. Uh, Dan is making a sandwich now. Is Dan grazing for snacks? Keeps I wandering make, the fridge. I make sandwich. I make sandwiches like the movie Cocktail. Aruga, Jamaica. Stop oh. throwing the bread. Okay. Did you hear the bread hit the ground, Alec? Cyber Husky says I wanted each dog to win for different reasons, but honestly, Drizzle's photo was a much better shot, so I'm glad he won. Stop stealing. That's less you get to have on. This is not big enough. <laughs> You want a beer bowl? No, I, I need a, a cookie sheet, I think. It says um, to put it on a plate in a single way. Your legs or the one back over here? I've got it, Dan. Okay. You just make your sandwich. Make your sad boy sandwich with uneven <laughs> ingredients spread across it. You know he doesn't even spread the mayonnaise all the way to the edge. Oh, I always spread the mayonnaise. Chris. Uh, so regular Oreos and strawberry jello mix. Uh, these are golden Oreos, but maybe you could do that. I don't know if the chocolate flavor would be too much. But this is really good. And you can probably use any flavor of Jell-O. Out of all the years I've ever made sandwiches, I've never had the butt of the bread make it past an actual slice of the bread. Huh. I fixed it, though. <laughs> like it was further back? Yeah. Huh. Sounds like something I mean, you have to do. Somehow, like, slid on butter. Are we playing how many things can Dan collect from the fridge? He's just making a sandwich. But yes. <laughs> Mooch saw the move to the cookie mix. Yeah, I think when I was breaking him up, he could smell the filling of the Oreos. Are you making a side sandwich? What are you doing? All the way to the edge, Dan. All the way to the edge. Uh, mixer camera. Yes, we're, we're about to head to the mixer. Thank you. <laughs> A beer box says we had Eclipse Totality in Dallas. It was amazing. I hope you all get to experience it. Um, yeah, we didn't have Totality. It it was weird though, cause it the lighting was just weird. It wasn't like it is on a cloudy day or like when the sun starts to set. It was just weird. It was like somebody just turned it down to dull, and it was bluer. Uh, yeah, it was really but odd. But the sky did pay off. Like we had plenty. Like we we enjoyed even though we had the least amount of the Eclipse. 
We enjoyed the eclipse just Excuse fine. Excuse me. Are it you was still to neat. Be here? It was still neat, and we saw a lot of it. You have to stay there. Stay. I know you know what I'm saying. You're gonna knock the beds down. Stop. Mooch. Do you want to go in the bedroom? Because that's the next move. John says, I remember being in the supermarket. A customer was standing at the bread rack, literally mashing up every loaf of bread and packet of rolls and literally snorting at them like a pig. That's terrible. <laughs> I hate people. One time I was at the grocery store and there was a kid, maybe like seven years old, and he had his toothbrush and he was stabbing the end of his toothbrush into all the meat packets. And I looked at him and I said, stop it. <laughs> like, just popping them all open. Like, where is your parent? Why are you doing this? <laughs> oh, it's awful. Oh my gosh. Hey Dan, Alex says the eclipse was 92% complete where he is. Uh, he couldn't see it, but everyone around him said it was rad. Oh. <laughs> could you sense it? Yeah, could you? Uh, was there any sort of sense of like things being different? Or an app. Or an app. A what? Well, because well, when we were hanging out, um, Alec had his phone out on like video mode and it was audibly explaining what was happening in the scene. Right. You know, it was all like, it, it was all like, Lady with the dog, like when Jess had the dog, like it was like that. So like maybe it like said something like okay, over. You're gonna be punished. <laughs> overrated world event <laughs> <laughs> in the sky. <laughs> oh, Vera Bug said like temperature change, maybe. Oh, Alex says yes, it was dimmer. Oh. Okay, you could you could sense that it was dimmer. Do he got spider senses? Like I said before, like like. We were talking at the convention, and then I left to go talk to other people, and then I came back, and then, like, he just, like, knew I was there. Maybe, I mean, he, maybe he could smell you, Dan. Or I'm tripping over shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably that. Oh, hey, Alec, uh, that coffee milk made it all the way to, like, can I believe it made it all the way to Canada. Uh, it, yeah, because after it was Jersey, Virginia, Canada, yeah, that coffee milk made it all the way, all the way there. Um, when I was at Cost Plus at World Market, is where they have like all the fun stuff. Oh and the yeah, did you check there for it? Um, I did check there for it. Oh, they I didn't forgot all about it. it. That would be the place to have it. Um, I did. Um, they kind of had like a sad drink selection this time. Yeah, their uh, like alcohol selection is much less than it used to be. Sales. Oh, uh, this now. stuff isn't even alcohol. Like it was just like, but it, like it would. That would be the place that it. Stop. Had it. Ooh. He knows you're making a sandwich. Alex, that's, that's not from. This. She's not telling me to stop. Mooch. Uh, not like a Trader Joe's World Market? No. We tried to explain what World Market was before. But, like, it could kind be of, inside of a Trader Joe's, but more with, like... More like a collection of, like, snacks from around the world. There's, like, the Italy section and the Germany section and the Japan section. And they have, like, a bunch of different flavors of Kit Kats and, and that kind Wicker of stuff. For, for, a little bit of furniture. Yeah, they have some, like... Kitchen like, goods. Yeah. What did we end up getting? Uh, scone mixes. We did. I get the scone mix from there. Um, I got some ube pancake mix. I'm going to try that and see if that's any good. Um, I think that was about it. I didn't get any, like, decor things. No, not time. any we only got snacks this time because stuff. you guys hook us up on the snacks. Uh, if that says, don't you clean off the butter wrapper? There wasn't too much on it. If I'm doing something where something's going to go in a pan and I need to grease the pan, I will use the butter wrapper for that. But these are cookies that are going to go on the silt pad, so I don't need to do that. Alex's coffee milk is yum. If you want more, I'll send you some more. Our local market sells it cheap. Does it not need to be refrigerated? You know, I saw a two liter of it, or like not two liter, like a gallon of it on a picture on a photo. Okay, back to the recipe. We're making cookies. Did you forget? Um, two sticks of unsalted butter, softened, and what gets mixed with that? Both sugars. So three quarter cup regular sugar, three quarter cup light brown sugar. I wanted to make ice cream with it in a ninja foodie. Ninja creamy? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mooch, don't you dare. I see you. I see a lick in your chops. Oh, he's eyeing it. I can see the heat coming off of his eyes. Can you give Mooch the butter wrapper to lick? I bet he would love that. Wait, is there a cream cheese wrapper later? No. We're not cream cheese in today. I did buy you a box of cream cheese. Thanks, Dan. One. Uh, uh, and I, uh, wait, and I did buy you a box of butter. Thanks, Dan. I always need butter. Two. Uh, I know. Next time I don't know what to get you for like your birthday or Valentine's <laughs> Day. Just butter and cream cheese. Three. Uh, uh, uh. Could Mooch Monster want water? Maybe, but there's too much stuff in the way, so he can go down and get it out of the fountain. Mm. Mooch is a bully. He's well taken. He's like, he's full and fed and stuff. He's just being Mooch, like. Yeah, Dan's making a sandwich. He knows there's lunch yeah, coming out. He dupes me into it every time. Who asked that question? Afriel. 
After all, I think the same thing. I'm like, he wants something. He wants something. And then you think about it, you're like, wait, I just gave him a bunch of stuff. <laughs> I think he ate, like, right before the stream started, maybe? Yes, he did. Uh, living up to his name. Yes, there's right. a reason his name is Mooch. But like, it's ridiculous. He's done this his entire life, and we couldn't come up with a name, and he ate everything. We called him Mooch because he would climb on you and eat your food. Uh, Auntie Ange says that World Market kind of reminded her of Pier 1 in some ways. A little bit, but I feel like Pier 1, at least the one we had out here, it was always more like... To me, Pier 1 there. gave me like a beachy vibe. I never went inside the Pier 1. You did because you and I went once and bought my mom some stuff oh, okay. um, before it closed. It used to be outside the mall. Um, but it was more, that was more like beachy, like driftwood and shells, at least like at the time. And, I only remember going once. And part of that is in there too. One. Uh, uh, it's yeah, like a cheaper Ikea. Mm. Yeah, but no, Ikea is more like furniture stuff. To me. You guys can Google and look at the inside of it. They like, have a website. You can look at their website. It's, it's definitely a mishmash of a few uh, shops. But kind of bohemian decor stuff. They have like a lot of the things I have that hang down with like the elephants and the the bird hanging things are yeah. from there. And then in the food area, they have almost one of like everything. Like you can see a crunchy yeah. bar sometimes. Oh, they did have crunchy bars this um, time, but I have a secret stash, so I didn't need to get it. It's like the Coleman's mustard was there. Yes. Yeah, it's a lot of international foods. Oh, Pier 1 is like a cheaper Ikea. The stuff was horribly made. Yeah, I really only remember going there once and getting my mom some stuff. It was in the parking lot of our mall all the way during the 90s when you worked there at the mall. Yeah, and I never went but there. We I worked kids. on the other side of the mall. We were kids. Like, why would we go there? It was, on, yeah. it was in the parking lot next to uh, the, the It was on the, guitar center. the front side of the mall. I worked on the other side where Claire's was. Place. Ikea furniture and Swedish meatballs. I think, did all the pure ones close? Does anybody have a pure one that is still open? I don't know if it's still a thing or just ours closed. Adrian is here. What's up, brother? Nothing. What's up with you? Oh, what's up, dude? Yeah, he might have been talking to you. What? Just, never mind that it's my show. Just say hi to Dan. It's fine. It's fine, Adrian. My feelings aren't hurt. Uh, Scott believes that all pure ones have closed. Seems reasonable. Pier one was a good place to get odd coffee mugs and bamboo for garden projects. <laughs> Oddly specific. Well, Wilton never had one in Northern Michigan to begin with. Y'all don't have anything out there. All right, so we're creaming this together, then we're gonna add the eggs and make sure each egg is incorporated before adding the next. Well, my phone chat is so hard this way, it is. Every time you try to hit enter, it doesn't wanna like submit your comment, you have to try again. Yeah, I think, uh, I think everybody is confirming that pure ones are closed. <laughs> to be honest, I was quoting a meme, so nothing personal. But hi, Crystal. Thanks, Adrian. I didn't take it personally anyway. You know my brother calls me bro. I call him bro. Not really that kind of girl. Like Kohl's. Only shop during the clearance sale. Yeah, don't buy anything at Kohl's when it's full price. These are stupid hot. Oh my gosh. Who are those from? Uh, the Hers Carolina Reaper, like Cheetos. Are you looking at where they're manufactured so you can figure out who gave them to oh, you? Oh, I think it's Shannon. I think it's oh. your fault. Your mom is here. Hi, Ma. Hi, Ma. She says, hi, kids and everyone. Those cookies sound yummy. Yeah. Ma, we mix the Oreos, the crushed up golden Oreos, with the jello pudding powder. No, the jello powder and melted butter, and it's amazing. And then Afriel suggested we use it as a pancake topping, and I know what I'm doing for breakfast tomorrow. I still have more Oreos and more yellow powder. Dan wants ulcers? He's on his way! No, I only, I only eat like one piece a day, if that, because it hurts. Just a taste. What? Just a taste. Morgan says Ma's her favorite person. She is pretty cool. How's that 
Is Dan still working on his guttural and fry screams? No. No, Dan should be doing vocal exercises at least before every Dantix, if not every show, and uh, uh, he doesn't. And then after every show, he says, I should do that, and he doesn't. The <laughs> one Cheeto a day limit. Yes. Any sort of hot stuff. Dan can't eat hot stuff like he used to. You know, I ate one Cheeto, and I can feel my esophagus. Is it burning all the way down? Do you know, like, you know those Pepto-Bismol commercials? When it shows the Pepto Bismol going down in the computer and rendition, coating everything, it it, that in, like I can feel that sonar of my stomach by eating one. That sounds terrible. <laughs> Dan, the gaming summer ham. <laughs> Is that a specific type of ham that you eat in the summertime? <laughs> I love it. Oh, I saw it up there, but then I talked, and then it it went off the screen. Uh, said all their Wilkinsons has closed. Never even heard of it. I don't even know what a Wilkinsons is. Is that the one with the big W? The uh, he looks says, put the hot sauce I sent on the Cheeto. I don't think he's allowed to eat any more of that hot sauce. His his stomach was kind of messed up for like a day and a half after that. I have to just mix it with the water. Avriel says, well, it could be getting old, Dan. Cyber Husky wants to know if she should send Dan some cough drops, too. We actually still have some from, uh, from Novi. They're in Ziplocs in our medicine cabinet. She says, ha oh, sorry. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think you know this, but Cyber Husky drop ship uh, care package uh, stuff for us in Jess's house before Canada. Oh, that's sweet. Yep. You didn't even go there. That was very nice of you. And then we, uh, we ate the cough drops. You're an awesome stuff. human. But yeah. And they, they were needed too. You have inspired Alec to make a sandwich. He's having peanut butter and jelly on gluten-free bread. Nice. I should have peanut butter and jelly soon. I bought, so when I eat a peanut butter and jelly, I only like to have peanut butter and jelly, because that's mush. Like, I'm not big on mushy textures at all, like deal breaker. Um, I put Lay's sour cream and onion chips in it for that crunch, like a whole layer of them. That's the only way I will eat a peanut butter and jelly. Am I just crunching over here? Absolutely. Okay. You're, you're inspiring Sorry. everybody to make sandwiches. Um, yeah, I put stuff inside my peanut butter and jelly also. Jeez, Adrian. Adrian made more can of butter. Six pounds this time. Jeez. Well, what? <laughs> can of butter? Right. But the, the problem is you have to like hurry up and go through it before it goes bad. Yes. Um, I don't know what that number means, but it's 6 to 12 gram ratio. I don't, I don't know what that means. But now I don't know what to make. I'm tired of doing the same old things and I want a challenge. Suggestions? I mean, you can use it for anything that takes butter, right? Yeah. Like, literally anything. Yep. Uh, Adrian, with his member Super Chat... I put it on my popcorn. ...has been a member for 42 months. It says, imagine, 42 months of trivia and getting baked. Getting baked. And you've been here for all of it. Thank you for supporting us for so long. We really do appreciate that. I hope that we still provide you entertainment, even though we've been doing much less trivia and slightly less baking. I mean, I'm, I'm still baking. Don't you worry. It's just not always on camera. Thank you, Adrian, sir. I had my mouth full of sandwich. <laughs> Dan, quiet. That will be the day. Only when he's sleeping. Aww. And even then, he started snoring louder, so... What? She's just... just <laughs> Beer and Bug's gonna make a pizza sandwich. A slice of pizza between two slices of pizza. That sounds amazing. I like that. Shannon says she's never had an edible worth of crap. <laughs> Let her know how it does. Oh, when I was much, much, much younger... A friend made like no bake, they were just called goo balls. I don't know what they were, but I didn't know like, I knew what they were, but I didn't know like, oh yeah, snacks, yeah, you've seen me with snacks. I have no self-control and I ate like six of them. And then somebody asked me how many I ate. I was like, I don't know, like six. And they were like, oh my God, you should sit down. And they were right. They were absolutely right. I needed to sit down. But then there was a mattress leaning against the wall and I sat down and leaned against the mattress and the mattress swallowed me. Like the Homer Simpson meme? Uh-huh. Yeah, it was, it was way too much. I don't, I don't like edibles. Afriel says, you're the first person I've seen that does the chip layer on a mushy sandwich. I do that with tuna. Me too. <laughs> yep, me too with tuna also. I just can't, like, I have to have super chunk peanut butter. It has to have chunks and crunchiness in it. Oh. I, I just, I can't, it's just mush. And I toast the bread. I have to toast the bread, like, just lightly toasted so it's crispy. Because otherwise it's just mush. Uh, the ratio I gave you is 6 pounds of butter to 12 grams of concentrate. Um, thank you for explaining. I still, I have no concept of the world of, like, edible 
ratio. Like, I don't know how strong that is. I, I imagine it's way stronger than I would ever need to consume, because I'm never putting any of that in my mouth. Oh, uh, what about saltines or Ritz crackers? In a PB&J? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Has to be, and only can be, Lay's Sour Cream and Onion, the green bag. That's it. Because they're, they're crunchy, crispy, without being too crunchy. Like, look, sour cream and onion chips are my favorite. But certain sour cream goes with certain, or certain sour cream chips go with certain meals. So if I'm having like a, a, a chicken burger, I do like the vegetarian chicken burgers, that has to be the sun chips and only the sun chips. If I'm having an egg salad sandwich, which we had for dinner on Monday, that has to be the Ritz sour cream and onion and only the Ritz sour cream and onion because those are really thick, like a cracker, and it'll scoop up the egg and the texture goes with the extra mushiness of the egg salad. Like I'm really particular about my things. Like, the internet has told me I might have some diagnosable things based on other things that people have been diagnosed with. In the cupboard, there's the sun chips that are sour cream and onion. There's a bag in there. There's a bag of the Lay's she's talking about that sour cream and onion. There's a bag of the of the Ritz. There's a bag. There's, there's sealed bags. Pringles only get eaten by themselves. There's Pringles that are sour cream and onion. There's fresh bags in there, too. There's these sour cream and onion rich things, and then there's more of these and more of these bags. All of them are sour cream and onion. I, I really like All sour are, cream and onion. It's the only flavor of chip I like. If not this- All are for this, different purposes. It has to be pretzels. That's it. Those, those are the only kinds of chips that I eat. Very particular. Probably could be diagnosed. Uh, Jim Johnson says, I'm definitely neurodivergent. I don't know what that means. Hold on, hold on. Does that mean you can only think about one things one time? No. Neurodivergent is like any sort of diagnosable thing that's not... I don't want to say normal because that's not the word. And at this point, look, do you remember you and I had this conversation? Terry lived here and we had this conversation, but I saw somebody short form content because I was like, I would never say this like out loud, but it's been going around short form content. Are you sure you want to say this out that loud? so many people are neurodivergent that at this point, like, is that the normal? Like, is neurodivergence now the normal? Well, what is it again? Like, who is not... We, it's any sort of, like, ADD... I'm sorry, apparently ADD is not a thing anymore. The hyperactivity is built into it. I don't... As somebody who had a hyperactive brother, and I've seen other people with ADHD oof, who are not that kind of hyperactive, I don't man, know if I buy into that. This is exhausting. I, I don't know if I even can. Any sort of ADHD, autism, and, and the whole spectrum of all kinds oh. of... But, yeah. but is it divergent if we're all diverging? <laughs> like... Everybody at this point can be diagnosed with something that's... We're just all normal. We're different kinds of normal. I hate the word normal, though. Like, what, what's normal? Certainly not me. Okay, where am I? I added the eggs. Strawberry extract. A teaspoon of it. Oof, man, you open up that trash can right in front of my face. Maybe you shouldn't sit in front of the trash can and eat. Uh, Jim says, ADHD, OCD, anxiety, depression. Oh, I said something at work the other day, like, I'm not, like, diagnosed OCD, but I probably have some. And my coworker said, oh, I'll diagnose you. <laughs> Might be. <laughs> Wilton's neurodivergent because she has epilepsy. So, okay, so it's anything unusual with your brain. Anything at all. Yes. So, we're all unusual, right? What is usual? Like, please somebody in here tell me you don't have any of these things. Like, they're, everybody's something, right? Come on. But that, that's what I think. So we're all, we're all normal. We're all our own version. <laughs> Morgan said, girl, yes you do. No doubt. <laughs> yeah. Might be a little of the tism going on in there too. I don't even know anymore. I can only eat sour cream and onion chips. Arfid, I think that might be a thing. I'm glad I'm normal. <laughs> Are you though? Are you? I have a little Stockholm Syndrome. Uncle Yukon says, I don't have any of these things. That's because you were born before any of these things existed. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody in the 60s had any of these things, right? You just had the weird kid. <laughs> uh, Chris claiming he's absolutely 1,000% normal. Also, has anyone seen my pants? <laughs> Uh, Morgan has her associates in psychology. Consider yourself diagnosed. Uh, same. So now we're doubly associate in psychology diagnosing me as all kinds of neurodivergent. <laughs> it's okay. Like, I have learned through my life, and I think it's easier for, and 
if you look into any of this online, like it's easier for girls to mask. Um, I, I have throughout my life figured out all the ways to make my issues work for me and not be a problem for me. It is still a problem for other people and people tell me constantly how weird I am. Uh, my mom and I got into a big long conversation about, about shower towels and I refuse to reuse a shower towel because it's disgusting because I dry my face with that and I dry my butt with that and my bits with that. And how do I know tomorrow which parts I dried today with which parts of the towel? I would never, my mom's like, I use the same towel all week. Oh, no, no, no. Do your OCD tend tendencies rule your life? Um, do you know that if, if the bowls, all the bowls in my cupboard have different patterns? <laughs> yup. Right? Mm -hmm. um, and we have two sets of six. Uh oh. <laughs> Did you put away the dishes last? Oh, there's not. No, no I um, know not to. Okay. If if some are dirty and some have to be put away and the two stacks are not identical, I will take them out and rearrange them. They're always... I, I, can't, I can't have them not be the there's, same. Also... There's the, not two of the same colors in each stack. Yes. Each each stack has one of each color. Um, the the plates, there's it's the same thing where there's six different colors and two sets of six. Um, but two of the plates have been broken. So, so there's four colors we have two plates of. The four colors have to go first, then the two that there's only one of, and then those same four, the same order of the four has to go on top of that. And if, if I'm putting away dishes and it's not in that order, I have to rearrange them. Um, these, these plates, we have two gray and two blue. It has to go gray, blue, gray, blue, or blue, gray, blue, gray. Like it can't, it can't be next to each other. It's oh, a lot to be me. Look, do you see oh. these up here? Look. Those have to be stacked the same. There's there's little ones and there's big ones, and they have to be in the same color order. That's the kind of stuff that well, that bothers me. I guess. Okay. Uncle I mean, Yukon, you know. I don't think we're friends anymore. He he uses his towel for at least a month or two before doing laundry. I hope you're lying. Oh, that's gonna keep me up at night. Oh my god. Uh, Adrian says, I'm the same way with my pots, pans, and cooking bowls. No one in my house can get the configuration on how they stack. Thank you, Tupperware. Tupperware, the glasses. Shh. What was that? Oh, my strawberry extract that I was like, I'll never use this again. Why'd you get such a big bottle? Good thing you got a big bottle because I just dumped half of it on the damn counter. Oh, uh, what's the smell like? Oh, like rubbing alcohol, or, uh, alcohol, alcohol, like vodka or something or gin. I don't know. It smells like alcohol. Oh, I just dumped like half of it. Well, at least that solved our problem. Oh, yay. Here, can you throw How come it doesn't smell like fun? I don't know. Hopefully, it maybe, tastes better than maybe it cooks Lick off. Lick the napkin. Uh, uh, Hannah. <laughs> oh, it's tangy. It's tangy on my tongue. Hannah says I have to have stuff in a certain pattern or multiples of two or five. I I don't get stuck on the numbers. My boyfriend before Dan was a three. Oh, everything had to be threes. Like, oh, hey, can you turn up the TV? It had to be a multiple of three every time. I don't I don't do that stuff. Does your OCD like? Have you let that spill go already? Or in your mind, are you like looking um, to see? If I'm you dumping need to more? this in so that I can put the lid on it and then I'm going to wipe down the counter because otherwise I'm going to smell the thing. All right, the good doctor. <laughs> oh, my, but yeah, my, my things have to be in the right order or, or I, I, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> can't do it. All right, a handful of you are with me on the towel thing, and I appreciate that. Alex with me. Use it once, then hang it to dry before putting it in the hamper. Uh, Jennifer says, I did that with spearmint extract once, and it smelled like mint for a month. Hi, Terry! Hannah says, sounds have to be multiples of five. Anything else has to be multiples of two. Um, so, I'm, I'm overly sensitive to auditory input, so I, I couldn't do, like, the the multiples of whatever because it wouldn't the sound wouldn't be right like the the level of the sound is more important than the number it's set to Wilton well, says I can't stand the number six when pressing some buttons I've hit it three times oh when I go upstairs or downstairs I have to count them all like it's just a compulsion that I have I have to count steps um I'm just needy you are just needy. Uh, when I walk on things and there's like texture, like the bumpy things outside of the store where it's yellow and bumpy, um, I, it has to be a certain like, 
it's usually my right foot has to step on it, and then if my left foot steps, then I have to make sure my right foot steps one more time because it doesn't feel right. And maybe this is why I'm so tired all the time. Do you think so, maybe? Maybe, maybe that might a little bit. <laughs> might have something to do with it. Uh, Morgan got strawberry extract for her conchas and added almost half a bottle to make it strawberry, like, to make a strawberry flavored topping and it never tasted like strawberries? Oh no. I'm gonna be really mad if <laughs> this doesn't even taste like strawberries. The top will. Uh, Adrian says, I keep my towel for a week, but I do not use it on my face or my bits. There are two separate towels for that. I kind of like that idea, but I'd still have to wash them every time. Two separate towels for his bits? For his, one for his face and one for his bits. See, if, uh, no, if something gets wet, Dan, how often do we have to wash the kitchen towel? Wait, how many kitchen towels do you guys have? Let's start there. How many kitchen towels do you guys have in your drawer of kitchen towels? Like, what is a normal number of kitchen towels in your kitchen? Oh, Hannah. Hannah says four, Dan. Amanda says four to six. Oh, no. Three. Like, like that's all that you own in your kitchen. Six, eight, seven. How many do we have for that? I don't think I've done the towels yet, though. So. You guys, I have 30 kitchen towels. No joke. We probably go through them once a week. 30 kitchen towels. See how many they right get now. washed at least once a week. Okay, look, I'm, I'm like, hold on. There's only this much left. There's only this many towels left. That means by, like, tomorrow sometime, we have to do kitchen towels. These will be gone tonight. <laughs> Uh, Morgan says, I have at least 20, and the holiday ones are in rotation. No, I don't have holiday ones. I have... Okay, look. This is wet. I'm done with it. This is... Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. Terry says, can verify. When Terry lived here, sometimes Terry and I would look over at each other. Oh, I don't doubt it. Like... <laughs> just... Alright. You know, I... And now I touched the wet towels, so now I have to wash my hands. See, but I don't, like, make a big deal out of it all the time. I'm making a big deal out of it now because we're talking about it. Normally, I just, like, toss the towel away and I wash my hands when I get a new towel out. And I try to get as much water off my hands as I can before I dry my hands. And then I dry my hands because as soon as the towel is too wet, I'm done with it. So if I wash my face with a towel, if I dry my body with a towel, it has now been wet and I can't use it anymore. Can't use it. Uh, John says, don't know, got a cover full of old ones, but never... Oh, <laughs> Dan, how many rags do we have? Like every, like the last three batches of 30 towels, here's all the rags up here. There's two full stacks and some washcloths in the middle. It, oh. There's probably about 45. How many right? towels would you take to the beach if you were going in the ocean? Like just one. Like, but like, but I would only drive one. Like I went in the water and then I got out and now I'm done. That's it. But like, I don't really go in the ocean because that's disgusting. <laughs> it's so gross. That's your question. Do you know Crystal how many things in, poop in there Crystal and how many people pee in there? Yeah, Crystal doesn't go in the ocean. <laughs> I did once. We went boogie boarding once. I, I have been in the ocean. Uh, Liz has over 20 different shirts and sweaters for work. Dan, how many shirts do I have? Like, you've encroached on all my clothes. You have, like, hanging up there, you have, like, this many shirts. Like 60? You see them. And probably same. 20 shirts and sweatshirts. And I won't wear the same. <laughs> I'll wear a zip up sweatshirt multiple times within a week. If I wear a pullover to work one day, I can't wear it again that week. Like you already saw me in that. It's like a shirt. Like I have to. This is why I'm tired. <laughs> Do you like the river constant flowing water? Um, I'm not real big on water. Look, it's not the water. It's the sun. Like, hi, have you met me? <laughs> I, I need SPF 100. No freaking joke. Yeah, gingers don't do well on the beach. Why are their fish belly white or burnt? Yeah, SPF 100. And um, legit, on my Instagram, there's a picture of what gingers do at the beach. And it's um, put a blanket or a towel over our head. Like, that's... that's. <laughs> no, no. Just don't ask her about her socks. I, I need a recount because there's probably at least 200. At least. <laughs> so many. So many. Three week rotation of work t-shirts currently. It's boss. Oh no, like, like 60. No jokes. I feel like talking about it's making you more crazy. Um, my anxiety is getting a little yeah. like higher talking um, about all my weird things. Uh, fun police here. <laughs> um, how long till I can put this in my mouth? Not yet. Uh, okay, now we're gonna put in, it says to whisk in the food. Why do I have to whisk it? That sounds like a lot of work. Just like, 
I'll do it. Let's. I want a cookie. Dan, mind your business. Get out of the kitchen again. OMG, I would hate to do your laundry. It's my least favorite adulting job. I do so much laundry. <laughs> My doctor asked how going out in the sun makes me feel. I answered, awful. The sun drains my energy. She couldn't comprehend that answer. It's just, like, bright and painful, and my eyes, like, so good. like, clinch shut and don't want to exist. She treats us like it was my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> and Jim says, oh, my bad. Felt like therapy to me. <laughs> I appreciate that you guys aren't making fun of me. Um, but, yes, I, I have 30 kitchen towels. <laughs> Like, we bought two packs and there was 20, and I was like, I think we need more. So we went and got another pack. All right. How, if I whisk it, it's going to get all stuck in there. Maybe I'll just whisk it with this. But then it's going to get... Th oh. My anxiety is too high to be making these kinds of decisions in my life. All right. It says 15 drops. One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I feel like this is too thick for me to whisk it. I'm just gonna stir it. Dan, some people only have four kitchen towels. Four. And then what? You just dry your hands on a wet towel? And Crystal's mind, because you have four towels, y'all live in that, like, beginning scene in Willy Wonka, where they're all, like, in the house, and they're all, four people are, like, in one bed. You know they're cheap at Walmart, right? All... You could go get more towels. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I feel better that Terry lives all by herself and has ten and wants more. That makes me feel better. Get you all Kim Kartalshi in here. All this, like, <laughs> oh, my gosh, so many towels. I gotta go get the mail, just in case there's stuff in the mail. All right, go get my mail. Make sure you turn my wheel back straight when you pull in the driveway. Oh, uh, that's the other thing she told me last night. Tell him, tell, tell him that story. When Dan pulls my car in the driveway, he makes a right turn to get in. No, I'm sorry. I don't know my left from my right. He makes a left turn to get in the driveway, and then he leaves the wheel turned to the left. But to get out, I have to go the other way. Like, it's a cul-de-sac, so you can only go in and out one way. You have to turn it back straight, and then I can turn it the other way. I... Uh, Shannon's suggesting I take a green cookie break to help with that anxiety. I can't eat edibles! The last time I did, I had a really bad panic attack. <laughs> like, really bad. I had to call my mom. It was bad news. <laughs> Alright, it's very pink. Can you see how pink it is? they dry off but it's been wet and not clean also Dan wipes things on like if his hands dirty he wipes it on the towel towels are not for wiping dirty things on they're for drying so you can't just like wipe like pieces of food on it I honestly don't know how Dan and I live together I have alcohol or something <laughs> I know right I'll be okay probably this is my brain all the time you would hate working in my warehouse. None on the wheels, none of the wheels of the machine are straight when people leave them to charge. Oh, I can't, I can't. I read something that was so true to me that said, I don't have habits, I have routines. Yes, it's, it's not a habit, it's a routine. And like, I have to do the A, B, C, D. And if I stop, then I get all screwed up. And, and Crystal needs a hug. I might, I might. I'm puffing on a new vape cart called Night Terrors. That sounds terrifying. Oh my gosh. No. No. Okay, I think it's about time for dry ingredients. But you hate hugs. Dan hugs make me feel better. I just don't like to hug strangers. Weird. No mail? No mail. I did yard work today, so... Did you really go get the mail, or did you, like... 
I don't know, go do some secret. Like taco truck. Like, <laughs> yeah, truck like I feel like that party. wasn't long enough for you to go get the mail. There's nobody there. Um, when I was driving back by, because I did yard work today, I was driving back by, and there were some people's yards that were all shabby, and I was just like, huh. Oh, you're all proud of yourself like you didn't get written up two weeks ago for your yard. Right, right. But now that I'm freshly cut out there, I'm just, oof, some people. Uh, no, there was nothing. Dan Crystal needs a hug. Oh, <laughs> can I get one on Amazon? Because we live next to the Amazon hub. Sometimes it comes tomorrow. <laughs> uh, Christine has so many pairs of underwear. She can go months between washes. It has at least 20 black t-shirts. Oh, I, I have lots of underwear too. Oh, I also have underwear that I bought that like, I can't wear this because like, this doesn't hit the right spot. Oh man, I bought some new underwear and like the middle is too wide and I don't know if I'm going to be able to wear it. Just... Can't you just sew it? Or like get a chip clip. No. Um, that's my hand drying towel. I, I need to dry my bowl that I just washed. So I have to get a new towel out. Uh, written up for your yard. Yeah, we live in a mobile home park, which is pretty much a glorified apartment building. And so Dan did the yard work and then he went out of town for a week. And in the meantime, they wrote us up and like, you need to do it's, your yard work. Like, it's yeah, that yeah, way. I know. I'm better when, I'm better when like, when you're in trouble, well, I get anxiety. As soon as we get a write up, I'm like, you need to go take care of that right now. And like, they'll she, give us 14 days, and I'm like, go now. She, he'll wait it out. Day like 13 and a half, he'll be out there doing it. You should take it and white it out and put like three days on there. Like, <laughs> you should do something to like change that. Yeah, and then you'd do it. Right. <laughs> Jim knows, you get it. <laughs> they, the heck, they don't have that measurement on the like the packaging. All right, what am I doing? Uh, two and two thirds cups. Yeah, they don't have that measurement, and I don't know, like, you don't know until you put them on. So, I do this thing where, like, when I find a pair of underwear, like, so Target sells individual underwears, and one time I found a pair that fit really well, so I went online and I bought, like, 15 pairs, because those fit well. I can't, I can't deal with things that, like, don't fit right, or, like, are too tight, can't wear tight, like, pajama pants, it freaks me out. Oh, welcome to my therapy. <laughs> I did go to the P.O. Box. Hannah Will's package is here. Willis. And Willis. Willis. Okay. I don't know. I just give up after the two. There's just so many lines. It's a W. And then it's like, line, 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 S. <laughs> line, 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 S. Yes. And one from uh, Dan and Linda. Yes, Amanda, it is pretty much an HOA. If I want to paint my house... I have to go up to the office and get a booklet that shows me what colors I'm allowed to paint my house. I can't just like pick a color. I have to, and it's it's one color for the body of the house and one color for the trim. Like they tell you the combinations you're allowed to use. It's really weird. I get it. Like I look at the mobile home park next to us and I'm like, oh, that's why we have rules. Cause they can do whatever they want. And some of them just have wheels underneath them. Like no skirting, no nothing. Like, yeah, it's weird. Okay. What am I doing? Two and two thirds cups. This looks so fun in here. Excuse me with your fingers. My flower's really full, so I need to do it this way. One. Uh, uh, uh. Jim, we're not friends anymore. No, 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 no. It's horrifying. You know some people don't wear underwear at all? That terrifies me. That's Ooh. dangerous. It is dangerous! That's just dangerous. So dangerous. Like, you're playing with fire. Uh, yes, that was uh, 15 drops of red food coloring to make sure that the cookies look as pink as they hopefully taste. Although, now I'm not so sure after Morgan's comment. One... Or Taya? Ta I'm going Taya. Wants to know how the fur babies are. Oh, they're great. There's one here chilling, and then let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, Precious is on top of the tower. Um, Stripers is in the basket, all snoozed up in the basket. You know how I know Dan put these away? Because it doesn't bother Dan to put them in any order or direction. They all made it on the ring. They are all on the ring, but Dan. You know, they're all facing each other. It looks perfect to me. That cup no. is bigger no. than that no. cup. That cup's right next to probably that cup. Look, Hannah knows. OMG, why, right? Like, just all willy-nilly. I don't know. They're on the ring. No particular order. 
one teaspoon of baking soda. One. You're spiraling! Stop while you can! <laughs> happen either way. I'm just explaining what's happening. Usually I do all this stuff and I don't narrate it and you guys don't even know what happened. Were you less anxious when I wasn't here? Like in my life? Yeah. Yeah, do I make you anxious? Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes when you do things wrong. I mean, D-A-N is a three-letter like acronym too. Sometimes you put, like, when you put the dishes away and then they're still wet and you put them away. <laughs> That's, you can't do that. It's not okay. All right, flour, baking soda, salt. We're almost ready to make cookies, Dan. Wait, your spoons were out of order. Come on, that's not even OCD, that's basic organization. But then there's people like Dan who like, it does not affect him at all. Does not concern him whether they're out of order and flipped back and forth. So what is it? But like, I have to take them off and reorganize them and put them back on because it bothers me immensely when they're not right. Doesn't even occur to Dan that they're not right. Yesterday, I opened the silverware drawer and there was a spoon in the fork section. Does not bother Dan. Not even a little bit. It's just a bonus when I run out of forks and there's a spoon in the fork area. I'm like, oh, nice. Alex says, you and I are similar. I could chill with you and just stress about all the things that are wrong. <laughs> CF Vamp says, that would bother me. Bad Dan. Small to large, small inside the large. They take less space. Yes, and I have two sets and they have to face each other to take up less space. Like, to, to sit the right way. The spoon identifying as a fork. <laughs> Who am I to judge? I am all inclusive here. Dan doesn't sweat the small stuff. Dan doesn't sweat much of anything. <laughs> and he pets the smelly stuff. Dan is the smelly stuff. You remember that, everybody. <laughs> When Dan doesn't shower, he smells like corn tortillas. You remember that. All right, because these, these are in the oven. Yeah, I do. These are in the oven for a little while, right? I mean, it's a cookie, so probably like 10, 15. Okay, so then we'll get to package openings, and we'll get to um, Hot Wheel. Amanda, I did see your post. Adrian, I do see your post. We'll get to post reactions. We'll get to posted post reactions during baking time, right? The package is open. Sure. Dan is unbothered. Just being the, just being that, I kick him. <laughs> I try not to give him. Who said that, Alec? Like, I try not to give him like, too hard of a time. Like kick me like the dog, like you like shuffle, like like a soccer kick, just like. Ugh. I hope so. <laughs> I I try not to give him too hard of a time because I understand like his brain does not work like my brain, and my brain is very exhausting. I get that, but I just quietly go around behind him and fix the things. Sometimes not so quietly. I'm pretty minimal. You have learned a lot of my things. You would certainly never hand me a napkin that you dropped on the floor ever again. I mean, like, you know, I spent, like, this last month, you know, pretty much gone. and Doing I, whatever you want and using napkins that I fell on the floor? I spent a lot of time in Airbnbs with, like, Country Mouse. So there was, you know, Jess, Jamie. Uh, Eric's more like us than, than them, and it's in Greg. And, like, like, I would start to wash the dishes before I put them in the dishwasher. Because that's how we do it. We yeah, completely it hand wash like, everything like, before it goes in the sanitization dishwasher. Yeah, and then the look I got was just like, no, like, just like, no. And then, like, so then, like, like, so, yeah, so, like, they probably think I'm, like, neurotic because there's just things that I do that you're used to doing. Like, if something falls on the ground, it goes, like, into the trash or something. But, like, you know, like, Everything came around for bites. It was my turn to take a bite off of this big old hot doggy thing to try it. Like, so there's that. I would like the first so. bite, please. <laughs> oh, also, I don't like when, like, <laughs> I have a friend who sometimes like has it. parties and she puts all the food out and then like, there's food if anybody wants it and people take their time. And they let it sit out in the sun for like an hour before oh, they go shit. get the food. Who oh, I am this? first with the plate. Let me get some who, food before everybody touches it. Who's, oh. Who started this? John says, I don't suppose you're just really introverted. One of my friends and I both are, but we both react differently. She gets bad anxiety with people. I just get really irritated with them. Uh, both. Both. Everybody's <laughs> stupid. Um. <laughs> no spatial awareness. <laughs> uh, 
Terry's absolutely right, but just don't let something be up with the kitties, though. Dan worries. Yes, Dan. When, I, when the cats go out of town. When the cats go out of town? When I go out of town. Every you... time I go out of the cat. Town. Okay, to be fair, like, one time Mooch tried to die, and one time Kitty did. So, like, well, and then, like we're not that, helping your case. Yeah, and then that, that little Max cat, too. Right. Like, gave too much turkey, too. I still don't think that was and... it. Those cats at work are all sickly. So, yeah, I do, I do worry. Um, yeah. Hey, Dan. Yeah. Jody's here with a super chat. Don't look at it. Look away. Okay. Thank you, Jody, for the super chat. Why no, was the cat to... afraid of the tree? Because 789. Because of its bark. Oh, shut. Thank you for the super chat. That was a good one. I have not heard that one before. It does taste a little strawberry, but not overwhelmingly. Oh, I like that. I like that. Uh, real quick. So, Dan, who's your favorite pup that you spent so much time with them? Um, uh, I love Kira. I, of course, you know, they're all rad. Um. I love Kira. Eleanor will be awesome too, but I love Kira. Her and I are buddies. Kira is so cool. I, I, I like Kira. Just the way she acts. I like it. She's all happy to see you all the time. I, li I like it. I like it. Alright, so <laughs> we, we've got some uh, pineapple and pizza divisiveness going on here. Uh, Shannon says, dude, if you hand wash them, they're clean. David says, yes, dishwashers are for sanitation. Wash your dishes before you put them in. <laughs> Thank you. You're my people. Uh, Jim I think he just had a stroke. Dude, buffets? It's so gross. I think he's mad about it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely disgusting. And kids, kids go to buffets and then they just like have their germs and... <sighs> like, like I can feel you like warming up. You're getting redder. I might have to go adjust the Michelle only camera. uses cold water in the house when she takes a shower. You're not clean. Dan only washes his hands and the dishes in cold water. You're not clean. You need That's... some warm. You need to, uh, although I will say, um, according to Dan, I used uh, the devil's sink water. And it oh my is gosh. Super One, hot. <laughs> yeah, like she uses it. It's cranked all the way up. I'll come in from like, like take out the trash. So I go and take out the trash after the 30th time. I go and take it out. I come back in to wash my hands. I put my hand in the sink like Crystal's doing dishes, and I pull out bloody stumps. <laughs> it's just stumps. I have no more hands okay. anymore. It's gone. It's just gone. It's just stumps. Redheads have a higher tolerance for pain. it was so hot. And Dan's have a lower tolerance for pain. So there's your explanation right there. Maybe it's my monitor, but it's like everything... Think of everything like on this camera down here as being like neon. <laughs> you can see it in this camera. It is like it is... way more neon in the camera than it is in real life. It's duller. Yes. Uh, more strawberry-ish. Um, yeah, Crystal, same way with Crystal showers, too. Like, if you if hop I in there... If I don't come out red... It's just... <laughs> I didn't shower. Or, or you just melt... Oh, you curl I have to nothing. turn the cold water up to wash my hair, because I know it's so hot, it's bad for my hair. I turn it into, like... You take 900-degree showers, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's what I'm saying. I hop in there, and I turn into, like, a, a stick candle, like, two hours into it, just, like, all melted and shriveled up. <laughs> uh, like, it's so bad. Taya wants to know why there's a hole. Um, do you mean in this? It's just, like, this is the topping. So if you just got here, this is uh, crunched up golden Oreos, melted butter, and... Jello powder, strawberry jello powder. This is gonna be the topping on our cookies. So it's just like I mixed it all up and then it said to lay it flat. So that's what I did. So it just moved around. That's all. Uh, redhead here, but I have Raynaud's syndrome, so I can't stand real hot or real cold water. Oh, I would die if I couldn't have a really. Oh, hot you just we're, we're, uh, you just go live where it's room temperature, right? <laughs> is there a place? I don't know. Okay. Scoop the dough into a round tablespoon and roll in crushed cookie mix. Okay, so we're gonna take the cookie ball. We're gonna just stop eating it. That's less than gets to go on the cookies. All right. Once we do that, we're gonna bake them for eight minutes. Take them out and put more of this on top of it, and then cook it for four more minutes. Hey, Dan. Yeah. Jody's got another super chat joke for you. Hi, Jody. Thank you. Dan. Yes. 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 Hi, cat. Whoa! Don't break the cat stand. You already did that last week. How do cats stop crime? Uh, in a with the meambulance, me me meambulance. Crime, crime. They call claw enforcement. Cat cuffs. Oh, claw <laughs> enforcement. Oh yeah. Okay. No, I haven't heard that one either. That's a good one. Thanks for the super chat. That's a good one. <laughs> if the shower doesn't melt your face, then what was even the point, right? Yeah, I brush my teeth in the shower, too, and uh, I have to turn the cold water up, because otherwise I would just fry my gums. Thank you, Terry. I did turn the oven on, like, an hour and a half ago. <laughs> it's been on for a minute. 
but I appreciate the uh, warning every time. Wait, who's Why are that? you worried about germs on your towels if they've been boiled off? Because the towel gets wet. And do you know what happens when things get wet? Mildew. Mildew and mold and grossness. And I'm not putting that back on my body. And no. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I like and how bits she and, scrubs uh, herself in the shower. Then she gets out and dries off. But apparently she's just like un scrubbing another layer of, of imaginary. All the dead skin. That the soap and water didn't take off. Or your loofah sponge that's got spikes on it. My loofah sponge that has spikes? It does not have spikes. Yes. Um, yes, we do have the oven on. Yes. Yes. Uh, Taya wants to know if you're from Pittsburgh. Is that why you like the No, bags? no, just in the 90s, like early 90s. Stop uh, eating it. In the early 90s, it was hockey time. And like we had rollerblades and we were outside playing hockey. And, um, I didn't know how to play hockey very well, so, like, I, I don't know if I rented it or whatever, um, Mario Lemieux Hockey, and he was a Penguin player for the Sega Genesis, I played that, and then, like, I turned on the TV, and it just happened to be the same team on, the Penguins, and then, like, I just stuck with them, and I just never, like, had a different team, so it's just always been the Penguins, that Penguin stuff on today, no, it's F1, I have F1 merch on today. Which was not an easy thing when we were kids. Like, when I watched hockey when I was a kid, I liked the Kings, because that's what was on TV. Like, that was it. If you liked the Penguins, you only got to see a couple games a year, right? Yeah, when it was televised, I'd have to, like, read about it in the paper, but I would watch the Kings and the Ducks. Like, when hockey was on, I'd watch hockey. I didn't care who it was. Right. But that was just always my team and stuff like that. It just felt good. I didn't, like... I don't know, it just felt good. So that's all, so then it's just it. Jennifer wants to know if you played hockey in school. Uh, we live in the desert, there's no hockey out here. <laughs> yeah, so like, okay, so I would- Like, go to like the, schools don't have hockey teams. So I worked, I worked at a hockey rink, right? So like, I would take my hockey bag to school with me, like, sophomore, junior year of high school, and I would take it with me, and I'd put it in the room. And then, like, from my high school to the hockey rink was like a quarter mile. So I would just hoof it over there. Eventually, I would just leave my hockey stuff at the hockey rink, and I would just go over there at, like, noonish and just play hockey until, like, the games would start at, like, 5. So I would just go go there. Before that, when I was 15, my very first job was at a hockey rink, and I'd sleep there on the floor sometimes. Like, I, like, was really super good at hockey just because I, like, lived at the hockey rink. But they didn't have high school teams, but I just every day would just be done with school and just walk over to the hockey rink. Every cookie I make is bigger than the last. Yes, it was roller It was roller hockey. There was some, okay, they tried to make an ice hockey rink up here, and they had this big board meeting, and we all showed up for it like it was a movie, like we all showed up to the courthouse. Order! And they wanted to build an ice hockey rink out here, because they have one in Santa Clarita. They built it, right? No, that was the Gretzky Center. Was that not... That one out of business. That was a roller hockey. No. No, so that was still roller hockey? They showed up because they wanted to make it over there by that Kaiser area, in that empty field. And then the retirement home there didn't like the fact that it, it's open 24 hours, because hockey rinks are always going. <laughs> um, so, like, eventually, after we would show up to the city meeting in our hockey jerseys and stuff like that, you know, like... To prove that you like hockey. We're pouring out of the courthouse, you know, like, yay, like, you know... Um, the guy was just, like, closing his books. He's like, forget this. I'm out of here. And he went down to Santa Clarita, which is a smart move. Because he'd be out of business by now. Yeah. Which is, like, a nicer, like, closer to L.A. town. And uh, built the hockey rink there. So is it, Isn't it closed now, though? We would have to. No, it's still there. Oh, but, but we'd have to go down there to play hockey. Or we'd have to go down to the Isoplex, which was, like, where the Keens would practice. So we'd have to go down there for ice hockey, ice hockey. Jim says, so this is not very Captain Crunch after all. No, but it kind of tastes like it. Not going to lie. It is. Yeah, oh. it tastes like it. Or it tastes like... Um, fruity Pebbles, or like, um, it's, yeah, like Fruity Pebbles. Not quite like Fruit Loops. All right, this is going in the oven for eight minutes. Alexa, set an eight-minute timer at everybody's house. Ha-ha. <laughs> eight minutes, I got, starting now. I got good hockey stories. I got blasted in the face, and that was hot crazy. Hot Cheeto cookies. I assure you it's not Hot Cheetos. <laughs> that would be so gross. No. Oh, my gosh. No, we're past that. Okay, so that. in eight minutes, we're going to take that out. We're going to put... The cookies are going to have spread out more flat. We're going to put more of this on top of it. Okay. And then cook it for four more minutes. So, okay, so now it's time to, like, do stuff? We can do stuff for eight minutes. Okay. I didn't... Okay. 
What do we got? We have this, but I didn't blur out addresses. Post office put a sticker over it from uh, Dan and Linda Roberts, who smartly sealed the envelope the same way I do at work and did not put the tape over the clasp, but unfortunately the tape was too strong and I could not rip it. Ta -da. <laughs> Ta -da. No, you're supposed to show the camera, Dan. What's it say? This is Dan and Crystal. I hope you liked the cat pics I made for you. Oh, I do. I do. Here's one here. Right before. Oh, it's a mooch. Oh, Stripers rescued February 25th. Yep. Oh, I love it. Right before Stripers is about to knock over the fish. Probably. Uh, so far, like he's that. not been too destructive. I do like that. Uh, this one is Baxter. Oh. You know, um, after, uh, if you guys saw it, if you guys saw it yesterday, uh, after I put that hat on Kitty, and no, 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 a mama cat. Because uh, I was tending to take pictures. You should see the ones at Tobo. It's just all him backing out of my hat. <laughs> um, I might be able to get a costume on Mama Cat this year. Maybe. I might be able to get one of Auntie Angie's costumes on Mama Cat. We'll see. Yes. So After I'm, Elsa and her Alexa recognize my voice more than her. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I don't think Baxter's going to do this. But we're going to try this year, too. And then this one, too. Look at R.I.P. Kitty. Aww, she even did a little white spot on the nose. And it looks like Kitty. Oh, Linda, I don't know if you're here, but thank you. Aww. That's so sweet. Oh, I love it. I tried to bring her food the other day. I was like pouring all the food out and stuff, and I walked in there. I was like, oh, oh like, yeah, the, the completion <laughs> yeah. is, is hard. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. We're, we're still adjusting to the loss. That's good, though. You color so well. Yes, thank I you. Suck, I suck at coloring so bad. I'm sure you're probably watching this on the replay. Thanks. Thank you. All right. This package is from Hannah Willis. Hopefully I'm not smashing anything. Oh, this is for you, Dan. I know. Pour, I, I'm ready. I'm ready. Pour me out. Oh, she says not to read this. A uh, great outdoor rink would be Fraser Park. I went to one. There used to be one up in, like, Lake Arrowhead. That was kind of cool. Was Lake Arrowhead? All right. Hannah sent. Oh, I'm excited. I stopped getting, like, cars because I wanted people to be able to send them car send in cars. Drift and break. That one's that one's got some good. That one's got the five spoke wheels on it. That's like the fast wheels. That's good. That's gonna be a good one. International Women's Day Roadster. I deliberately deliberately didn't get that one because I thought for sure like somebody would send it in. So I stopped like buying the obvious ones of like. Gotcha. Oh yeah, there was a couple the other day. It was really hard to resist buying, but I'm like, there's so many at these stores. You guys are gonna find them. Yes. Uh, and she got the Burgundy uh, Braille Racer Twin Mill. The Twin Mill is a popular one, and it's a bullet, this Twin Mill. Uh, we might have to have some Twin Mill races soon. We might have to. Um, she sent a keychain for me. Oh, it came out of That's the... super cute. It came out of a little egg. It did. The egg was already opened through the mail. And this is for you. Yes. It's from her favorite ice cream place. Oh, no one ever sends me smashed pennies. <laughs> Aww. It's from Mc... McCoolies? I don't think she said. Can you read the on this? She said it's her favorite ice cream dairy. Nashville. I can almost make coolies. McOville? O V I L L E? You'll tell us. You'll tell us, Hannah. From Nashville, Iona, I Ionia, and Zealand. Hannah, are you here? Yeah. Which one of these do you want? Oh, there she is. Race? Okay. This purple. Did I say awesome. it right? Is it? McGoville? McGoville? Oh, help. Super cute. Thank you. Much appreciated. Cool. So you have three for tomorrow's yes. race? Put them back in here because tonight after the show we have to identify yes. the new cars. That purple one's rad too. Um, have you ever guys been to Mackinac Island with Gone to the Snow Dogs? I always love the lilac trees. I didn't go to Mackinac Island, but we went up to the UP and for, for like a week or nine days I was up there uh, at the UP. Crystal was talking about maybe making her way up there with some family soon, but we don't. There's a chance. No um, uh, my brother's family, his his family he married into, has uh, a, a house right on the lake. And every year he's like, you should come with us. You should come with us. And we try to work it out. It never works out. Um, so we always just end up doing a uh, concert. 
But we were trying to do a concert and couldn't find a concert. And he was like, what about Mackinac? And so this weekend we're going to talk about it and see if we can make that work uh, in June. We'll see. Oh, that makes more sense. It's Mooville. It's not a C, it's a O. Mooville. Oh, I like it. Much more sense. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, which lake? Uh, like the Mackinac one? <laughs> Look, I live in Southern California. I don't, I don't know these sorts of I lakes. have now been to all the Great Lakes since I saw Lake Ontario when I was in Where is it? It's on Mackinac Island, right? Like... Where's I, I don't know. It should be Lake Superior. So, look, I know the names of all the lakes. I don't know which one it is. It's right there on the water. Like you walk out the the back of the house that they call the front of the house, and then there's water. Um, it's on this side of the bridge. So like, the bridge is like right there, and then the island's right here, and the bridge is going that way. So then the fudge place is on the opposite side of the bridge. You know where like you can go down and walk under the bridge area there. He's, like, still that way a little bit in that little town area there that you drive through. There you go, Morgan. One of the Great Lakes, boom, done. Lake Huron? Yeah, water. It's water. I don't know. Huron? Huron. I, I might go in it, but um, I'm going to need some SPF 100, which um, I'm going to need more than 3.4 ounces, so I'll probably have to buy some SPF 100, just ship it. it to Jason, and have him bring it, because I need to have SPF 100. You like, like the stuff they make for babies, that's what I need. Also, you're, like, you're, like deliciousness for those mosquitoes so you're gonna I don't know am I a mosquito that. bite person I don't I don't go outside so I don't I don't know <laughs> I apparently some people don't get bit and some people do but I don't go outside so I don't know Dan yeah. can you smell the strawberry yeah I can I think it it's more like from pancakes. the jello powder than the strawberry like we probably could have skipped it, the strawberry extract it smells let's be real like especially it. based on Morgan saying she put like half of it in there and it didn't make it Tastes like it's that. like Michigan on the side of the bridge. The other side is Huron. Okay, so then yeah, it's on the side of the bridge, going towards like Gaylord or like Alpena, but it's up on the, on the water area. Let's. let's I'm confused by Dan's said. description. So either Michigan, Michigan or Huron. Like if this was the bridge, and you're gonna cross the bridge to get to the other side where the visitor center is. They're on this side of the bridge in Lacoste area, and I think on the other side of the bridge is where you get, on the same side of the bridge, but on the opposite side is where you get the fudge. But like, what do I know? Why are you listening to me? Like, half of you, stop. Half of you guys literally like live there. <laughs> right. You would know better than we would. But I don't know. Maybe there's houses all around the different. Like, who knows? Look, we're in Southern California. Uh, Alec would like a description of your shirt today. Oh, oh my gosh. Well. Last time I tried to pronounce it, my Mexican aunt just about smacked me in the head for doing it wrong, saying it wrong. So it's a sugar skull with like a forward like pink flat build Fred Durst hat looking thing that says Mexico on it and F1 under it. And then the head's a sugar skull. Yeah. Yeah. And Crystal's shirt is the blink shirt. That says L.A. on it. They're not even from L.A. It, but it's got the rabbit, and I wanted the rabbit, because the blink shirt that I have from when I went and saw him 20 years ago has the rabbit, but I don't fit in the shirt I wore 20 years ago. But it says Blink-182, like, arched in big letters, and the rabbit's underneath it. And then underneath the rabbit... He's skanking with the carrot. Oh, yeah, he's, he's skanking with the carrot. That's it. That's all. Okay, so Crystal's doing something with these over there, I, not over I here. I baked them for eight minutes, and now I'm putting more of the crumbly topping on top of the cookies so that I can bake them for four more minutes with that extra topping on it. They're starting to look like the picture. They absolutely are. Are you making more, or that's it? Oh, you have another batch to make. Yes. Oof. But I'll probably just make the one on camera, because I'm tired. Dia de los Muertos, yeah. Oh, look, you read it correctly. That's because, yeah, that's because Morgan has hooked me up. Did she spell it out phonetically for yeah. you? <laughs> nice. Yeah. Good job, Morgan. Dan, are you traveling north or south on the bridge when the fudge place is on the left? If it's, I would be traveling north on the bridge if the fudge place is on the left. So we got, like, after we left the islands to come back to Michigan, like the mid part, um, we got off the exit and it was, like, right there on the right-hand side, the, the fudge place, so... Wasn't around the corner. <laughs> I knew you'd like that dumb joke. How come I get in trouble every time? At least because once a you week. You use that joke like four times in a row. At least once a week, I try to get away with a milk, milk, lemonade joke. Just stupid stuff like. 
Right, but look, that joke makes you laugh. It does not make me laugh. So, therefore, I used it way more effectively than you did. But the pain that it puts you through by telling this bad milk, milk, lemonade joke... That makes you laugh? Is, is, it's almost worth it. All right, let's see what Jason says. Jason will confirm the body of water. Tina, I don't play. I know she don't, huh, Morgan? Oh, thanks for pictures, dummy. There we go. The Straits of Mackinac. I argue with Sandy's cousin all the time about it. Lake Michigan, but... And then he sent me a bunch of pictures. Hold on. Let me put these back in the oven. This one's for everybody with an Alexa. Alexa, set a four-minute timer. Wow, she don't play. Four minutes, Whoa, starting now. That was extreme. That was extreme timering. Hold on, I gotta turn All right. I gotta make the camera. All right, uh, uh, he sent me a mitten. Hang on, I got more words. All right. So, here's a part of the mitten. There's St. Ignace, mm -hmm. Mackinac City, Straits of Mackinac. There's Lake Michigan. Is that is that like where their little cabin -y thing is? I don't know. Lake so if you go back to the big picture, it should be... He says, when you scooch up just a bit closer to the bridge where our cottage is, Google Maps tries to say Huron, but it's not. But I think they're like right in that area when you go back to the picture with the bridge. Well, this yeah, one? That one? I think... Ooh, oh, you're I doing weird things. I think they're here. That's where There's I a think little dot at. there, but I don't know if that's but, there. But I believe cabin. that's on that side, and that's where okay, they're Okay, so they're like here, and it says... Oh, he's going to send another picture, because now it says cottage is here. <laughs> Google map it yourself. I don't know. I've never been there, and I don't know the address. No, it, it's it's here. <laughs> I'll, I don't know. It's this way of the bridge. I don't know, people. It's I there. I have Look, if I go, I'll learn more. How about that? I have a proposition for you. <laughs> Morgan says, this is too much. I, I agree. <laughs> I ha I have There's water. I probably won't go in it. What? So after these come out, can mm -hmm. we put the pizza in and then you cook more cookies later? We can do that. Yes. You want some pizza? I do. Jim says, see the bottom of the thumb pit? That's where I live. Oh my God, he's still sending me pictures. I don't even know. It's... Anybody that has anything to do with Michigan, like, really tries really hard to make sure everybody understands it. Look, it's a mitten and there's a bunch of water. Does it matter what it's called? Does it matter what the Nobody piece of water Michigan is called? Nobody loves Michigan more than Michiganders. Absolutely. Uh, Morgan says, um, you have a toaster oven. Are we talking about for the pizza? Because it's an Aldi pizza and it's like this big and it legit doesn't fit in the refrigerator unless we Who take it out of the that? box. Who Morgan. Morgan, I almost snuck a piece out of it and put it in the air fryer, but then I was concerned that it's raw pizza. And it needed to go in the oven for a long time. Uh, Wilton is confirming that it's Michigan. The bridge is the divider between Lake Michigan and Lake Huron. Okay. Mackinac Island is east of the bridge. Lake Michigan, Lake Michigan. It's Lake Michigan if it's left of the bridge. Okay, we're going with Lake Michigan. Yeah, uh, Morgan, you want to see the size of this Aldi pizza? Oh, yeah, break it out. We'll get it all ready to go to the oven. Okay. It's not delivery. It's Aldi. Also, did I tell you how I saw something online that said when you buy a frozen pizza, it's just a canvas. Don't eat it as is. You need to, like, make it better. And you, I will show you how wait, I make it better. Can you pizza pie it a little bit? Can you, can you, can you pizza pie it? That's it. That's all you get because I don't want to mess up pizza. Don't. Well, that is the most sports I have ever seen Crystal do <laughs> ever. She threw. She caught. And I didn't even drop it. She was done. Wow, that I've never seen you. I have never seen you sport before. <laughs> that was that was crazy. There was a lot of. I'm like, trying to like defend myself and be like, no, but that one. Didn't. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You did a lot of micro adjusting to catch that. <laughs> and I was really scared I was gonna drop it. Sally's got <laughs> your back. You gotta say, Mama Mia, pizzeria, and spin it. <laughs> if, is that what you do, Morgan? For your, for your, for all your kids. Uh, Jim warning me to stop. Don't you know there's certified Michigan nerds in this audience? I know, but it's kind of funny to me that like I don't care, and I don't care that I don't care. It, it's cool. <laughs> like, what else? Are you happy, Alexa? Stop. Are you happy, Sally's got your back? Yeah, thank you, Sally. 
Please tell me you guys don't drink diet cola with the coffee table size pizza. Um, I don't drink soda really at all. Wait, so no. What was that? I said with the what? With the table sized pizza. <laughs> it's like, depending on the actual shape of it each time, sometimes it's too big for my biggest pizza pan that's 100 years old and I can't find another one this size and it's bent a little, but I don't care. Diet cola's gross. <laughs> diet cola's gross. <laughs> okay, Dan. That's where he takes a stance. All right. Okay. It smells very much like strawberry jello. Very, very much. I got attacked by a moth and a bird. A moth and a bird? Well, the bird kind of ran off. Oh, I'm so happy for this smashed penny. I'm going to put up the other ones. No one ever. Sp I always send the pennies the other way. I did make a lot on our trip this time. Uh, F. Vance says, I maintain that because I'm all alone, my ALEXA is programmed to listen to my voice, therefore a feminine voice would, wouldn't would set mine off. So, watch this. Dan, ask her. Ask her who she's talking to. Alexa, who am I? I'm talking to Dan. This is Dan's account. Rob Van Dan. Watch this. Right here. Alexa, who am I? I'm not sure who's speaking, but you're in Dan's account. Yep. <laughs> to teach me to recognize your voice, just say, learn my voice. No, if every girl... Learn my voice! No, oh, that's too many people's Alexa, voices. learn my voice. She's gonna make you talk about it. Now everybody's so. is gonna learn. Oh, I can ask someone else! You're gonna learn my name! You're gonna have to sit there for the next five minutes and talk to it. She's gonna pronounce it wrong. She's very, I'll finish my profile later. She's very excited about this. Now you've just given yourself homework. Alexa! Who am I? I'm not sure who's speaking, but you're in Dan's account. Yeah. To teach me to recognize Get your voice, out of here. just say, learn my voice. GTFO. Alexa, thank you. I'm done playing with her. I like this. Anytime. Literally. She Literally. Except Alexa. when I don't feel like listening or the one in the bedroom wants to listen instead. Alexa, you're so good to me. Mm-hmm. She's kind of done with you now, Dan. I get it. Me too. Uncle Econ says, A-L-E-X-A, an in-house spy. Hey, I'm okay with that if she'll shut off the lights when I tell her to. She does. Most of the time. All right, we'll let these cool for a minute. I'll throw some on a plate. We'll make some cookie, or eat some cookies, make some pizza. What temperature does this have to be set up for the pizza? 375. All right. For like 26 minutes. We got some Italian herb. Jim says I bet Alexa knows your Alexa knows uh, Jess's voice. No, he's always on a. Uh, Headphones. Uh, well, I don't know when I'm not here what he does. No, when you're not here, um, I have a little speaker that's over there that I that plays loud during the day. Only when like when Blake's here, um, I'll edit with my headphones on, or like you know if he's sleeping and stuff. Otherwise, uh, if no one's here, then it's no headphone. Week. All right, Dan's a delicate flower, so I can't put too much crushed red peppers on it or his delicate sensibilities will be offended i'll just add more later <laughs> did you just exhale like i hurt your feelings uh doris says now hers thinks she knows who crystal is that's great mine doesn't <laughs> all right hold on i got no dan's leaving the room and i'm coming over here so i'll be right back also it never comes with enough cheese I'm making you hungry for honey barbecue wings. I've never eaten honey barbecue wings. I keep mozzarella in the freezer, frozen, obviously because it's in the freezer. Uh, if you want to add cheese to your pizza, add frozen cheese because then it will cook with your frozen pizza. Although this pizza isn't frozen because it's a take and bake from Aldi. But if you put just regular non-frozen cheese on it, it'll cook too fast and it'll turn brown and crispy. <laughs> Tina, it would be a shame to hear your lack of spice love. He used to just um just wait till you get to be forty something, and then everything hurts your delicate. 
stomach. Those Aldi pizzas never come with enough anchovies. <laughs> That's disgusting. Fish on pizza? Really? I heard anchovies are really salty, but mostly I learned that from Futurama. Because I've never eaten them. There is more! I still have ice cream in here. There's like three more rags of cheese in there. Yes, Shannon. Red pepper flakes on pizza is a must. When Dan's not here and it's just me and Blake, we like coat it and Blake will still have more on it when he's done. Um, Dan can't handle too much of it. Sorry. This one's very frozen. I just found something new at work. Mega peanut butter M&Ms. Wait, like the, the M&M itself is bigger? information. Now I gotta ask, do you like? Don't leave me hanging. If it's squishy, no. If it's vegetables, no. Oh no. Oh no. You're bringing up the controversy. You're gonna set everybody off with pineapple on pizza. Oh, I like pineapple. I like pizza. I do not like hot pineapple. I will eat cold pineapple with pizza, like if that happened to be a thing that were available, like I'm not opposed to it. I do not want pineapple. The problem with it is hot pineapple is disgusting and the juices soak into the pizza and the whole pizza tastes like pineapple. And I don't want that. I think pizza is just fine as cheese. Cheese pizza is good and it has nothing to do with being a vegetarian. Cheese pizza is good. That's it. Dan, there are now mega peanut M&M's. Oh my gosh. My new favorite M&M is somebody sent us almond M&M's and I got a hold of the last end of the bag. Yes, those came from oh my Canada, gosh. I believe, I, but they do have them here. Do they? I gotta find them. Walmart has them. I gotta get them. I don't know why. I, they gotta go to my list. The ice cream tried to kill me, Dan. It did. I just saw it jump out at you. All right. Pizza in the oven. How long? Alexa says 26 minutes. Oh, you're so nice. <coughs> 26 minutes, starting now. Cheese pizza has been my go-to over the course of my life. Look, you can't go wrong with cheese pizza. Like, at my work, every time they get pizza, it's always just loaded with pepperoni and meat, and nobody yeah, gives a crap that I won't all, eat it. It's, it's always just greasy meat, everything. It's all about Supreme. As somebody who does not eat meat, you cannot take the meat off the pizza and then eat it. It messes with the cheese in terms of, like, it takes the cheese with it, and all the meat juices leak out and then you're eating a meat juice pizza. So if you care about anybody other than yourself and you're ordering pizza for multiple people, everybody will eat a cheese pizza, correct? Yeah. Everybody will eat it. However, at my work, so two weeks ago, somebody came and brought two Pizza Hut pizzas. Oh my God, they were so good. We might have to get Pizza Hut next time we get pizza. Um, and he asked me like, what flavors should we get? And I was like, please just get a cheese. Like whatever else, he wanted to get two. My mom told him to get like, I don't know what the other one was. Maybe just pepperoni. I don't know. Dan, that pepperoni, whatever meat pizza it was, went so quick. The rest of the cheese pizza, I took two slices. because I'm like, I never get pizza anytime anybody gets pizza here. I'm taking two slices right off the top because anybody else can eat whichever one. I can only eat the one. That cheese pizza did not get finished. And today, the last of it got thrown away. That's how averse they are to cheese pizza. It was already in the trash. Somebody, somebody else threw it away. Okay. That's how averse these people are to cheese pizza. And it's just baffling. Uh, just curious why you are a vegetarian. Because in the 1980s, microwaves became a thing and my mom bought one that came with a cookbook that told her she could microwave raw meat and feed it to her children. And that horrified me. And I stopped eating meat when I was about 14. I started dating a guy whose uh, entire family were vegetarian, like the parents, and they raised all four of their children vegetarian. And I dated him for five years. So I was able to find out more about like what to eat if I'm not eating meat. So since uh, 1994, I have not eaten meat. Very, very occasionally, if I am where I can see the water it came out of, I will eat fish. Very occasionally, I will not eat fish in this desert I live in. Absolutely not. 
Uh, but I will only eat, like, breaded cod. Not anything that, like, looks like a fish or has bones in it or anything like that. Stuffed crust dipped garlic sauces. Yeah. I like I like stuffed crust pizza, but like I haven't like thought about it in years. Uh, Christine says I think there's no reason for more cheese in the crust. It sounds like a good idea, but it's never really that good. Like it doesn't work that well. A beer bunch said shrimp. Absolutely not. Have you seen like the vein? No, that's a poop line. Mm 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 mm. Not happening. No cod. Breaded cod is the only fish I will eat. Um. Pretty much from one place. Although when I went to San Francisco with my friends, we went to a restaurant like right on the water and they had a beer battered fish, fish something that my friend ordered and she was like, do you want to try some of this? The thing was like this long on the plate. It was huge. Dan, that was the best fish I ever had. And not that I've had a lot of fish. Growing up, like my mom doesn't eat fish, so I never had fish. Apparently she does now. She, she changed we, who she we, is. We, we already have fish sticks. We had fish sticks as a kid. Um, I will eat the, the vegetarian. Uh, Guardian has fish ch chunks. I don't know. I will eat that. Um, but my mom never made fish. Growing up, I never ate fish. Uh, I've heard the phrase meat melts in your mouth. I never understood what that meant until I had the fish in San Francisco that was beer battered and the outside was so amazing. And the inside was just like, it melted in my mouth. It was so amazing. That was the best fish I've ever had in my life. And I would definitely eat there again. Um, but yeah, no, no shrimp, no catfish, no, 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 cod, cod. It needs to basically be a fish stick. That, and that's a mental thing, like, I can't get past. The other stuff might taste good. I tried lobster once when I was, like, 12 or 13. Just, like, a bite of it. Um, not a fan. Uh, Scott, I haven't checked the Poppy Reserve recently, but I saw some people were taking pictures out there last week, and it was sad. Like, they drove all that way, and it, like, wasn't ready yet. So, I'm not sure. Can you get out of the light? Thanks, Dan. <laughs> All right. Would you like dessert before you have your dinner? I think it looks good. It, it smells amazing. <laughs> These colors aren't right, though. It's like, it's, it's more mute. I don't know why these colors are so, like, neon. Let's see if this, let's see if this helps. I'm out. just going to eat it because my mouth's watering. That's really good. I'm pretty happy with this. Mm hmm You're not supposed to eat the shrimp's tails part. I don't need any of it. Like, I'm fine. I don't need to eat shrimp at all. No shrimp, no catfish or crystal. This is really good. Mm -hmm. It tastes like a sugar cookie. And then you took cereal crumbs from those cereals we talked about and shoved it in your mouth at the same time. You realize we're eating a cookie with a cookie on top? <laughs> like toast crumbs as a topping? Afriel says, I make my own stuffed cheese crust with string cheese. We've done that when we did air fryer pizza. We stuffed it with uh, string really? cheese. That was pretty good. Yeah, we did do that one time. Uh, Jim says, I think the cheese in the crust tastes plasticky or something. Else. Yes, every time you get it from a restaurant, like from a pizza place, it doesn't taste right. It was not right. It was better when it was uh, homemade, when we did it with string cheese. Uh, Alex says, I should come to Rhode Island. The fish comes right off the docks at the restaurant st shore. It's delicious. Breaded flounder sun is delicious. I don't know. I, I'm not a brave food person. No, nothing tastes like your cod. Just stick to cod or only cod and nothing but the cod. That's it. Now everybody's asking if I ate other things. Um, I have not eaten clam chowder, but when we went down to Long Beach last weekend, Dan got clam chowder at the restaurant and they had uh, bread rolls, and I dipped it in there just to see what the flavor of it was like, and it honestly just tasted like potato soup. It didn't taste fishy at all. And it was decent clam chowder. It's not as good as Andrea's in uh, Santa Barbara. Ventura? Santa Barbara. Ventura. Ventura. Um, but it was decent. But no, do not, you sh she would, no calamari, mm -mm. nothing like that. Only caught and barely caught, and that's it for Crystal. 
No, she, she will not try Cal. It's too rubbery and chewy for her. I've ate it, had it before, and I know Crystal. No. If it tastes fishy, I don't want it, I assure you. I, Christine, that's disgusting. I'm, I would know with you. Uh, <laughs> that's horrifying, and I might vomit if I saw that. Uh, thoughts on mozzarella sticks or onion rings? There yes, you go. please. Now we're Those good. are my two favorite. There you go. Whoa. Topo's on the keyboard. Uh, he's on the control key. I tried to scroll down and it made it huge on the screen because Topo's on the keyboard. All right, let me see if I can. Do I, I can't do anything because I can't. I need you to. He, he must have rolled on it and then off of it because now it's not doing anything. No, they do this deliberately. There it goes. Okay. 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 Nope. Back it. Okay. There we go. Uh, is it just me or is the sink off all of a sudden? Uh, that might have been Topo on the thing. I don't know. How, how about now? How about now? How about now? He clicked on a lot of things. <laughs> or he like, they lay out him. He does it and Mooch does it. Now he's going to walk by the mixer and step on all the wrong buttons. Uh, April says, what do you eat for protein? Like other things. I eat a lot of uh, vegetarian products. There's a lot um, of vegetarian stuff. Can I say this real quick? So I can yeah. Um, these days, like Gardein and, and Morningstar Farms and all kinds of other brands have like soy and plant-based vegetarian things. Uh, we do tofu, beans, legumes. Like, I'm, I'm good. Like, as far as, like, I have my blood work done on the regular and everything's good, aside from the oh. iron, which we're trying to figure out. Usually we have full-on dinners and then Crystal just replaces the meat. Like, we have like pasta and pork chops the other day and then what'd you have like a turkey cutlet yeah and, you know comes in a bag and stuff so like she barely switches out one for one so like even when we have beans it'll, it'll still be like no fat in there so like she could eat them but like there you yeah, go well, yeah when we get beans we get you know, the vegetarian version which right. just isn't made with lard um and then, but yeah there's all kinds of otherwise like yeah otherwise we just all pretty much eat this the same if we have burgers, I do a chicken burger that's fake chicken. If we have hot dogs, I do fake hot dogs. The stuff that she gets, it's expensive. So otherwise, like, I'd be on it all the time. But a lot of it's really good. Of Most stuff. of it, like, if you're going to have a hamburger, once you put all the toppings on it, you don't notice the difference. Mm -hmm. It's it's fine. And these days, it's so much easier. It used to be, like, if I went somewhere, I had to have a salad or a baked potato. Nowadays, most places... <laughs> or a baked potato. Like, at people's houses, too. Um, Dan's family is super, super accommodating. Do you remember the time we went to your sister Leslie's house? And, like, she had gone to Trader Joe's, and they were just having, like, a barbecue on a Saturday or something, and she had, like, five different options for me. Like, she I did. didn't know what you'd like. Here, pick one, and then sent me home with all the rest of it. Dan's family is amazing. Every yeah. time I go visit any of them, like, we got you options. What can we do to feed you? What can we do? Um, yeah, I'm not, April, I'm not going to eat red meat, so I'm not going to get the iron from that. So that's why I'm working with my doctor now to figure out my iron levels are fine, like the actual amount of iron. It's the storage. And he tried to explain to me what that meant, but I didn't really understand that. Um, but now most places you can go and you can get the Beyond Meat, which... I went to a brewery for a work meal out here and I ordered a Beyond Meat burger and it was pink inside and that was really bothersome to me because I don't want a lot of the the stuff that's coming out mainstream now like the Beyond Meat um what's the other one the Impossible Burger it is made for meat eaters to have a healthier option so it's made to try to make it taste like meat and have texture like meat and you can cook it like a little undercooked I guess and it will be pink inside um I don't want that. Like, I don't need it to be meat. I want, like, my other thing. So, um, isn't butter lard? No, butter is not lard. Butter is made from uh, milk product. And I'm not vegan. I do eat cheese and milk and butter and yogurt and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, no, lard is lard. That's, that's like, fat. Oh, this like love is love. Lard is lard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Amanda says, Dan, did you like my photo? Yes. And I'll approve it. And it's a photo of all your cool Hot Wheels that you just got. Or that you have for your collection. Speaking of that, tomorrow's Hot Wheels night, Crystal. It is. We're going to wrap this up here soon. Yes. Um, uh, Jennifer says, I like black bean burgers. That is the one vegetarian burger I can't stand. And I love black beans. Like, if I'm I, having a burrito, I love black beans in it. I do not like how it tastes when they make it into a burger. I don't know what I like they do. I like black bean burgers. Mm -mm, I they're, can't. They're That's good. the only option they have at, what is it, Chili's? Is it Chili's. the one across from Rubio's? We went there one time, and I'm like, oh, good, they have a vegetarian option. Mm-mm. Not good. If I'm going to have a veggie burger, my preference, like in a restaurant, can I get the one that looks like a bunch of vegetables all mashed together and you can see bits of like mushroom and carrot in it? 
that's the one I want. I don't want the Beyond Burger. I don't want the Black Bean Burger. I want the one that looks like it has carrots and mushrooms in it. Uh, my life's so good when she says, I'm a flexitarian. So that's every time she goes to take a bite, rawr, big old she flex. flexes. <laughs> and then I'm, I'm more of a pastatarian or a carbivore, if you will. Um, I, I love pasta and other shapes of pasta and long sticks of pasta and spirals of pasta and bows of pasta and Dang, pasta gumpy. rings of Jesus. pasta. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I really love pasta so much. Amori says the best vegetarian burger I've ever had was a chickpea burger at SeaWorld. We went, with, I think it was, I want to say it was at SeaWorld when we went, when Blake was a kid, and I got, it was like a quinoa burger or something, and the flavor of it was disgusting. It was so gross. It's the only time I've ever had quinoa. So nasty, and I will never eat quinoa again. And it might not have even been the quinoa, but that was the only thing in there that I didn't ever taste before that was disgusting, so, mm-mm. Mm-mm. There's a butter bean burger that is supposed to be good. See, I would try it. I love beans. Like from butter bean? <laughs> I don't know what butter bean is. Is it like butter beer? Maybe. I don't know. Quinoa is so good though. I don't know. Whatever it was, it was like bitter to me. And it it did not work with my taste buds at all. Burger King gave me an impossible burger by mistake and it was gross. Burger King used to have the best veggie burger too. The, the carrot and mushroom looking one. And then they got rid of it when impossible burgers came in and... Mm -mm. Uh, uh, no, uh, uh, that's not it. Look at Mooch! Isn't he so cute? He's the best. He's so sleepy. Good, he's not getting into stuff. I think Butterbean was a wrestler a long time ago. I think you're right. Yeah. Yeah, he was like a like he was like a straw man fighter. He just punch, 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 and then he did some wrestling stuff for a while. Right. So tomorrow. Tomorrow. Hot Wheels, 4 p.m. Pacific. I don't know. Dan's setting something up. I do Rainbow things. I think we'll... Yeah, okay. So we're going to do... Oops, I feel like Morgan, that you. sounds amazing. We're going to do Rainbow Road tomorrow again because, like, there's too many cars now to do, like, one versus one for a little while to figure out wow, that gimmick. Um, and then, so, like, we'll just do Rainbow Road and go flying down the track tomorrow. That'll be fun. Winner well, takes all. Winner takes all. All of nothing. I guess Oh, you 3D trophy. trophy. Yeah, 3D trophy. There you go. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. So these cookies are good. I um, like this. This is fun. I don't think we needed to make it pink. Like, Morgan, I think you're right. That strawberry extract doesn't really taste like strawberry. I'm, I'm, we could have just left it out. I feel like um, I don't taste any other flavor than the topping that I was eating to stop the strawberry the jello. Right. Is the, the right. prom most prominent flavor in this is the strawberry jello powder. The, the crunched up Oreos on top give it a good crunch that I think you wouldn't get otherwise. Um, a little disappointing in the sense that like, it is a flat cookie. I like my cookies to be like thicker and have more like chewiness to it. The middle was still chewy though. Like it, it cooked up nicely enough, but yeah, adding the, the cookies on top after eight minutes of cooking was perfect. It, it cooks into it and like most of it stays on there. Um, that's a good cookie. I, I recommend it. It's fun. It's fun, but you probably don't need the strawberry extract. If you're using strawberry jello, that's the only strawberry that I would say taste at all. Right. Yeah, I agree. Right. It needs more Starburst, <laughs> kind of. Uh, it has got a lot of Starburst to it. It does. Uh, isn't gelatin ivory? Gelatin is made from animal bones, um, but not always. And that's something where, like, I'm not as particular about it. It doesn't specify on here. Um, there are ways to make gelatin vegetarian. Um, I don't know whether that is or not. I'm not super particular about that. Um, like, look, I love stove top stuffing, but I don't want the cornbread flavored one. I want the chicken flavored one. And there's not like chicken in it, but it has a better flavor. So I'm, I'm not like, I'm not a like crazy, like you can't eat a burger in front of me and don't let this touch that. But I don't want meat juices in my things. I don't want to eat the pizza after the pepperoni has been taken off of it. Cause that's disgusting. Yes. Dan, do you want any of them? No, thanks. You keep your Hot Wheels, and I'll, uh, I'll search for mine. But thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, what about the Hot Wheels at the end of the month? Yes, there is a Hot Wheels at the end of the month. I have no further details than that. Uh, also, do you have to give a $5 super chat if you mail in a car? No, if you send a car, right. then you have purchased the yes. car and paid for the shipping, and now it will have your name on Just it. Just get the car here. Uh, yeah, if you want one of the cars we have, that's when you $5 super chat. Because right. YouTube takes 30% of that. Like, we really only make, like, pennies after you factor in the cost of the car and the YouTube percentage and all of that. Uh, vegetarian gelatin is fairly common these days. Yeah, a lot of companies with the way the world is going more vegetarian friendly and stuff, a lot of companies have switched over from well, look, animal-based pop, products. You're popular, finally. 
I've been doing it for 30 years. Thanks for finally catching on so I have more options <laughs> than just grillers and hot dogs and corn grillers dogs. Grillers and hot dogs. No, potatoes. No potatoes jokes. and salad. Okay, but when I mentioned being, when I was in high school, from 14, 15, somewhere around there, to like 20, um, I dated a guy whose family was vegetarians. There were grillers, which I'll show you, because Dan actually likes these eats them a lot. So these are the ones that I eat. Can we get, can we get this camera? This will be easier than me holding it up. These are the ones I eat. So they started coming out with buffalo chicken patties, so they actually have like a spicy flavor to them. Delicious. These have been around literally since the 90s. Dan says- Oh yeah, those ones? Yeah. The, okay, grillers were the option. This was the burger option so in the 90s. Been around? Morningstar Farms has been around at least since I was in high school. This is what we ate at my high school boyfriend's house. When it was burger night, we had grillers. I'm not a big fan. Although I did heat one up and put it in my In-N-Out grilled cheese sandwich with grilled onions and no tomatoes, and it made it feel like a real burger. So yeah. that was amazing. I like them because they taste like a barbecue burger, but you don't like barbecue. I don't like barbecue. Uh, but this was an option. They have uh, vegetarian hot dogs. Morningstar Farms makes hot dogs. Those were around back then. They also made corn dogs, and they made bacon. And the bacon looked like, if you've ever seen the bacon in a kid's playset where it's plastic and like colored white it's and red. Sausages. That's what the vegetarian bacon, still to this day they have it, and that's what it looks like. Can't do it. Could never eat that in a million years. Uh, I've never tasted anything Morningstar Farms that was palatable. So Morningstar Farms is not as good as Gardein, for sure. But their buffalo chicken patties, they used to only do buffalo chicken tenders, and it was like, like chicken nuggets with the buffalo seasoning on it. And I ate the heck out of those. Even my brother loves those. And then they started doing it on their chicken patties. Dan, not too long ago, accidentally got the regular chicken patties, and it was so, like, bland and gross, and I was not a fan, and I ate them as fast as I could to get through them so we could buy the regular ones again. What about your McRibs? Oh, one time we got the McRibs. I don't like barbecue sauce. I don't know why we got it. Why did we get it? I don't maybe know. Maybe somebody gave it to us? You know. We, My mom, or maybe, maybe it was one of the things Leslie gave us? Yeah, and you were going to eat it, but it was literally a McRib. Oh, yeah, they, they have ribs. Uh, Morningstar Farms has ribs. And it's like a McRib. It's just like stamped into the shape of it. And no, nope, that's that's not happening. Um, there's definitely better quality stuff out there. But Morningstar Farms is is what I get down on a lot just because that's what I grew up eating. Um, they have they have sausage patties. They also have maple sausage patties. So again, back in the day, there was like four options. Now they come out with all these other flavors. But Guardian is way better. There's vegetarian chorizo, oh, and it's like so spicy good. ground meat. It's so Like, good. the boys will eat this when we have tacos or burritos or nachos. The Morningstar Farms chorizo crumbles. And we tried this on accident. My mom bought them trying to get the regular ones for some chili. And I was like, oh, I guess I'll take this home and eat it. Amazing. Best thing ever on some nachos. Almost six bucks a bag. It's like five dollars a bag. Yes, yeah. These things are like five, six bucks a package anywhere you go pretty much. Jennifer says, where are you finding all these different ones? So Walmart and Stater Brothers have a good selection. That's usually where we get most of them, but it's it's hit or miss. Uh, and Some then, of it's in Target. Huh? Some of it's in Target. Target too. Their selection keeps getting smaller though. And it's hard because like Gardein has sliced Italian sausage. So delicious. Absolutely freaking amazing. Never seen it in our town. Anywhere like in the entire valley. I have been to all the stores and have never seen it anywhere in this town. I go to my brother's house and go to just the regular grocery store and it's right there on the shelf. So every time I go to Jason's house, I get it and I make him some pasta and I put that sliced Italian sausage in it and it's amazing. Uh, they have spicy sausage patties too. Yes, I did not like the spicy ones, but the maple ones were good. I usually just go regular. Uh, Jim says, I used to like all the veggie burgers, but I haven't seen them in a while. I got them once and they tasted like freezer burn. Almost everything from Aldi that's, the thing. that's frozen in the wall freezer at our freezers at our Aldi tastes like freezer burn. Yes. You can judge them by buying a pack of french fries and cooking french fries and eating them. And if they taste like the freezer, then everything else. Is the so stuff that like rotates it. through, like we get the, it's called non panadas and it's like a little empanada, but it's, it's Indian food inside, like a samosa. Um, those are amazing, but they're hit or miss and they rarely show up and you got to stock up on like five boxes when they do show up. Which we do. But all the stuff that they have on the regular that doesn't rotate through at our store, like the french fries and the veggie burgers all taste like freezer. Uh, what does that guard want? I don't know what you're asking. Can you, can you try again? 
Walmart keeps the Morningstar Farm stuff in the frozen vegetable aisle, just a heads up. Yes. Um, our Walmart keeps expanding the vegetarian stuff that they have, but then they shrink it back down again. But the whole, remember the remember the sausage roll? It was like a, a pastry with a big old sausage inside yeah, of it. Oh, it was so good. good. And then they stopped carrying those. Uh, Morgan says, we live in California. That's why. That's why what? That's why I can't get Italian sausage? That's ridiculous. And I've tried other things, but it's too mushy. You can't slice it. Because there's like sausages, but you can't slice it right. And it just falls apart. Uh, the other bread is Gardein. I just hear digging around noise. I'm going to show you guys some of the options. So it's like garden, but with an eye in it. Gardein. So they do uh, turkey cutlets. This comes with gravy, but I don't really eat gravy, so I always just throw it away. Um, they do little chicken sliders. These are good. And they're chicken, like, there's breading on it that has actual seasoning in it. It's the best flavoring. Those but, are good for you. Like sometimes you'll eat those like right before the show or something. You'll yes. Start. It's just, it's, a, it's a little tiny slider. Like you just microwave it, throw it in the toaster oven to crisp it up and it's perfect. And it's a tiny little meal. Um, they have meatballs that actually have Italian seasoning to them. So it has flavor. A lot of the uh, Morningstar farm stuff is unflavored. It, you can do like the chicken burger or the hot dog where you're going to put stuff on it. But if you're going to eat something by itself, like the, the turkey, the breaded turkey, get Gardein because it has actual seasoning and flavor to it. Um, there's chicken strips. This comes with teriyaki sauce, but I don't like that. So usually I'll use this like in a quesadilla. I'll warm this up and then throw it in a quesadilla. And then these are a new thing that they have and it's chicken tenders. And so instead of dinky little chicken nuggets, it's like a whole I, chunk of chicken. I've had those before, like a few times. Yes. Uh, they're really good. Those are really good. And it it feels like you're eating something of substance and not a, just a crap. little pricey. That's like six something a bag. So like, I'll just eat some regular nugs. So I don't eat much of crystal stuff. Uh, yes. I'm welcome to it, but like, you know, it's expensive. Yeah, but like if you're out of chicken burgers, you'll eat one of my chicken burgers. Like, you're not mad at it. It's all pretty good. Some of it's BS like this. These are like the worst. They look like a dehydrated dog poop. It, it's the worst. It's I, okay. That's the worst. To be fair, I don't like the Guardian ones. I get the Morningstar Farm ones. And one time, I sent you to get me some of these, and you got me this brand. And I did not like it. We well, didn't say anything. No, because I'll just eat it. Whatever. When I I ended up getting another bag of the other ones. But yeah, I'll but, eat it. Uh, but most of the stuff's pretty good. Uh, Jim says, glad you're not eating Amy's. Um, everything Amy's I've seen is like prepared meals. Like, I like to prepare meals. I don't need a frozen meal. Um, I don't know if they have other stuff than that. I don't know. I don't think I've ever tried any of their stuff. We did get like a can of soup or something once on clearance. I don't remember what it was. Beans, maybe? I think it was beans. Maybe. Uh, my friend makes burgers with the Impossible Meat patties from Walmart. It was actually really good. Yeah. We've tried the Impossible Meat. It's not bad. It's It's... Fun to cook up, like, oh, we got the meat I and we threw it in and, like, made some taco meat mm -hmm. with it and put the seasoning on. Yeah, it's it's good. It's fun. Yes. Get your stuff back in the freezer. Okay. I know you're counting down time in your head of, like... I know. We have 23 minutes of pizza. 23 minutes. It says it's just 19 seconds left. 23 seconds. That's what I meant. Oh, yes. Plus, we have to wait five more minutes for it to come out. So tomorrow at six o'clock, no, 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 four o'clock Pacific, seven o'clock Eastern, we're gonna be doing some Rainbow Road Hot Wheel racing. It'll be double Rainbow Road, so. Alexa, stop. So I'll have to set that up tomorrow morning. Crystal might try to run over to Quartz Hill to go to the book fair. Oh yeah, there's a book sale at the library. I don't know sale. if you can get up in time, but you can try. It's until four. You're fine. I don't need you to help set up for um Hot Wheels. Oh, like, like you don't want to come with me? I do, but like as long as I have enough time. Gotcha. I should. Hi, Dan and Crystal. Hi, Ashy. Hi, Ashy. Happy, happy Friday night. I'm so hungry, waiting for my partner to get home to eat dinner. Just do what I do. Take the pizza cutter and go into the refrigerator and take your tortillas and just draw a ring around the outside of the tortillas and then eat that ring. They won't know. Just blame shrinkflation. They won't know that you ate. Alexa. Set a five minute timer. They want to know that you ate, um... Five minutes, starting now. What a snitch. Sometimes I whisper at her, and then sometimes she whispers back. Most of the time she doesn't. Uh, but yeah, so you could just do the tortilla thing and just 
Just cut around a tortilla and eat the tortilla. And now you guys are wondering if I really have done that. Why are you cutting around a tortilla? Okay, so in this world, uh, in this world, my life's been adventure is so hungry I'm waiting for my partner to get him to eat dinner. I heard that part. I said go in the fridge, take the tortilla, take the pizza cutter, cut around some of the tortilla. And just eat the outside of the tortilla? Well, because you, you cut off it round so it looks like a smaller tortilla. Okay, you have taken bites out of things and put them back. Do you remember Bagelgate? I remember Bagelgate. Does who remembers Bagelgate? Bagelgate was was a thing. Yes. It was very controversial and you denied, denied, denied like a damn politician. Bagelgate Bagelgate started when we had bagels in the fridge and there was a bagel with a like an uncooked bagel with a bite taken out of it. And we were like, who took the bite out of the bagel? I was like, there's no way it was me. Have you met me in my OCD? There's no way it was me. My money was on me, but I'm like, why would I do that, right? It has to be Blake. And then somehow or another, the, like, I don't know, I feel like months went by. Months? But... No, Blake came out and, and decided and we needed to match the bite Forensic of the like, bites. I think he made you take a bite out of something else, out of a tortilla. And then we compared the shape of the bite, and it was absolutely... And it was my so, bite. To, like, there was no doubt about it. I, there was no doubt about it. It was no my doubt. bite. So Blake so, Blake definitely thinks a lot of the things I do are weird. Sashimi However, bagel. It was a sashimi bagel. Blake has a cook. lot of the same quirks that I do. Blake would never take a bite out of a bagel and put it back in the bag. I don't ever. know. So no. I took a bite. F. Apparently, says it was me. I did it. <laughs> apparently, I took a bite out of the bagel. Just one bite. And then, like, put it back into the bag for like later consumption. You're so weird. Do you remember the other night? But so I do remember Blake made me forensic the. Bagel. He did. He did. Um, I made pistachio muffins the other night, and you fell asleep on the couch, and you said, "Wake me up when they're done. I want one." And so I, I went in there into the living room with the muffin and I like woke you up and made you sit up and I said hey I have a muffin here for you and you're like all right and you sat up with it and I came back in here to clean up and then all of a sudden I hear laughing from the living room uh -oh. and Dan goes I fell asleep with a bite in my mouth uh -oh, <laughs> so in yeah. case you're wondering how Dan's gonna die it's gonna be falling asleep uh -oh. with food in his mouth <laughs> and uh, choking you, on it do you sleepwalk Dan biting bagels in your sleep no but I wake up and eat a lot like, yes. I'll like sit up out of but the sleep. But then falls and I'll, asleep while he's eating. I'll come back over here and I'll eat. Uh, I hardly fall asleep when I'm eating, but I've done it before. Um, <laughs> you just did it on Sunday. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know if we're going to have enough topping for all of the I don't, cookie dough. I'm okay if make. it's just the cookie dough and a cookie in there. Because that's, there's a lot, like, it's really sweet. You know, I, I didn't think of it till just now, but when I took them out, I was thinking, maybe I'll only put this on the top part. So let's try that. These ones, I didn't do that. But what if instead of rolling the whole cookie, I don't really need it on the bottom part. I can just roll the top part. Yeah, are you picking up what I'm putting down? Yeah. I think, like, that's really all that's necessary, right? And then I'll put the sprinkle on top. All right, now everybody's laughing at you for uh, choking on it. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what happened. It's ha yeah. <laughs> Morgan says I fell asleep with my bowl of ice cream on Tuesday. Roberto found me in my six hundred pound life state. <laughs> you are with child. Uh, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> Enjoy it. If it's your last one, it's the last time you can fall asleep with your ice cream, and nobody, well, at least nobody here will judge you. I fall asleep every night. It takes a, it took us like yeah, most of us do. It takes. Shut up. <laughs> oh, I crystal everybody. You literally just said I fall asleep every night. Uh, on the couch here, and then like, it took us like two days to get through like a curb your enthusiasm or like Survivor. I caught we got through most of Survivor. We did two episodes last night before you fell asleep. We still have another one though. Yeah, we we're a little behind. All right, Dan, I'm done. It's about time to eat pizza. We have 42 okay. seconds. I'm going to throw these in the oven. I'm going to make more of these. This is a good recipe. I rec recommend you guys try it. I'm not mad at it. It's a little gluttonous. It's cookies with cookies on top, which is not completely necessary, but I'm not mad at it. I like it. It's fun, and it tastes good. It's sugary. It is very it sugary. Is sugary. Kids would love this. Yes. All right. Have a good night, everybody, and come back tomorrow at 7 o'clock Eastern, 4 o'clock Pacific. Yes. To, uh, so we can do some Hot Wheel racing. Yes, and everybody whose cars we have, your one of your cars will race. Yes, yes. Especially, like, your new guys' new cars and stuff, so. Yes. It'll be great. It'll be I'm great. Like Rockstar is here. Says, I'm yes, glad hi. To your live stream. Oh, my gosh. Bye, yes. everyone. Have a good night. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, thanks for hanging out. Watch the stop. Yay.
Have a great evening, Darren Crystal, everyone. Yes, you too. See y'all tomorrow. Yes, come back tomorrow for Hot Wheels. Don't forget. Don't forget. We can talk about WrestleMania. All right. Stuff like that. Because so. it's Dan's show, and Dan's allowed to talk about whatever he wants on Dan's show. Yes. Alexa. April. April timer. with the ginger joke. Good night. Thank you for being transparent, Crystal. Do you know that I went and got my blood taken on Tuesday, and the girl could not find my vein? And she was like doing this, and she made me hold the ball and do this, and I'm like, I'm literally oh, see through. I can see your little purple. Mark. Yeah, I'm still bruised from Tuesday when I had my blood taken. I am literally see through. Like, can you can you this cam one more time? What time Central Time? Don't make me do that math. Four four p.m. Pacific. I'm see through. You can see my veins, like everywhere. How could you not find my vein? You're like a map. I mean, seriously, it was the first time someone couldn't find my vein. It was really weird. All right. Bye, guys. <laughs> Wait, no, I meant real. I know what you meant. I think Crystal did, too. <laughs> yes. All right, everybody. Thanks for supporting my OCD. Yeah. <laughs> and all my other weirdness. Also, if you only have four towels in your kitchen, you should buy more towels. Ten. Minimum ten kitchen towels for every single Especially one. Especially at your Airbnb. I went to the Walmart and bought a towel this last time because they're just like, I wasn't happy with the towel selection. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. Ten kitchen towels. Hannah, I'm going to send you some towels. Ten. <laughs> Minimum. I have 30. You should have ten. Bye, guys. Uh, See you tomorrow. That's it. Bye, that's it. You should have 30. Bye, Bye guys. <laughs> it's my right. life advice. That's Bye, everybody. Have a good night. Thank you so much for the chats and the super chats and the fun. Yeah, I'm done. Okay, bye. <laughs> All right. Good night, everybody.